starts at a lot of hope, which means it's time to tip off the NBA season, Brent. Thankfully, we got through the offseason storylines, the preseason, and all the predictions out there. It's not about that stuff. It's about the play. So let's get it started. All right, let's check out the starting group for the Thunder. Inside, we got Williams and Holmgren. Shea Gilgis Alexander is out there with Josh Giddy, and it's Dort in at the three, the small forward. Connects from downtown. Yeah, it's just too easy for Holmgren. Man, is he fun to watch operate off the catch? Here's Green. Here's Shangun. Down low. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Great effort to turn the miss into two points. Yes. Sir, those are the hustle points. And stolen by Green. There's the three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Can't play too far off of Green because he's skilled at pulling up and torching you. Well, Brent, this Thunder team is so young, but poised to be a factor now. How much does the playing experience factor in for these young guys? Well, I think it's huge, B.A. They're going to be hungry. It's so crucial for young players because the next time that they're there, it's not going to be the first time. So this team is going in the right direction. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Brooks. Oklahoma City's gone one or two from three-point land so far. The three. The Thunder with another miss. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Here's the three. And so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession here. <laughs> nice deflection there. Really trying to disrupt their offensive flow. Yeah, I appreciate the work right now on the defensive end. Drills it from deep. They've hit four of their first five shots. Great execution and attention to detail. Outside, Williams. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Well, a solid facilitator. It helps that the defense thinks that Shea Gilgis Alexander is going to shoot and not pass. Oh, wasted no time on that one. Van Vliet's got six points. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Knocks down the long J. Oh, you gotta love the back and forth, showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. And that one drops for him. Van Vliet's got his third basket on the night right there. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. Here's Shangun. And Shangun throw it down. Yeah, no question Van Vliet was going to find his man. He has excellent court vision. Here's Holmgren. There's the drive. Oh, and they immediately answer back with a dunk on the other end. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. Many people were disappointed that Chet Holmgren lost his rookie year to injury break. Well, none more so than Chet Holmgren, who's an incredible competitor. But all of the talk is the anticipation around him coming back more well-built, more skilled, and ready for the league than what it has to offer a big man. Oklahoma City trailing. Holmgren goes in. And the big finish by Holmgren. And just showing off his mobility as a big man. Holmgren puts his head down and charges into the shot. Had he played to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Rockets. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance. So knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. Sometimes the offense can be keyed by just quick possession. So you get a steal, and you can get out in transition. They seem to be very focused on that end of the floor. And hitting from the mid-range here and early. I mean, really gives the defense just another thing to worry about. Yeah, he's got to be a little bit more on their radar after knocking down something like that. Mm, slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. To the middle. Here's Holmgren. Outside for Dort. Back to Holmgren. Finished by Holmgren. And this is why so many are high on Holmgren. His ability to dominate games with his score. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Holmgren. I love it. Nice activity defensively. Getting in there to disrupt the pass. And the Rockets going with a whole new group out there. 
Pass to Thompson. Oh, and the jam by Thompson. That's unreal. I mean, Thompson, that boy's going to hit his head on the rim one day. Oh. Outside, Williams to the inside. Holmgren. Holiday against Gilgis Alexander. Back to Holmgren. Just five on the clock. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. This one for three. Oh, the Thunder, another three. <laughs> and great awareness. Holmgren so good at reading the movement of his teammates. A very heady passer for a big man. Adams, the pass to Thompson. Smith outside. Over Williams. Whitmore. It's good on the putback. He really gets in perfect position for the follow. Just a terrific read. Gilgis Alexander against Holiday. Williams on the wing. Back to Gilgis Alexander. The kick out to Williams. Over Adams. Fred Van Vliet has been on display for Houston. Eight points in the quarter, showing how... Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Rockets. Guys, you can really see the strategy coming in. Get the ball into the painted area. Yeah, you don't see that all that often, getting down there and doing that much damage in a quarter. you got to respect the game plan. On the floor for Oklahoma City, getting going in the second. They've got Gordon Hayward, and it's Wiggins in a power forward. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. The Thunder making a switch here. Williams is checked in. And with players like Moran and Giannis last season getting undercut around the rim, would you support moving the charge circle out of foot, Grant? You know, B.A., that's a good idea. I mean, I don't see why not. The league wants more highlights and less injuries, so it seems to make a lot of sense to me. Yeah, that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. Smith passes to Holiday. Adams with the ball. Smith outside. Fires the three. Sinks it from distance. Smith's got six in the quarter. It took a little bit of time, but now he's taking the pen off the cap and putting his mark on this game. Here's Joe. The kick out to Williams. Thompson with a steal. For three, Smith. And the slam dunk by Thompson. You know, we talk about the value of size out of the backcourt, and that sequence by Thompson is a great example. Here's Wallace, and that one is hammered home. Just great offense. The screen freeing him up for the slam. Hey, without that screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Yeah, why well, settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that? Thompson passes to Adams, and the basket is good. And the Rockets lead by nine. Already an intelligent playmaker, Thompson moves the ball well for a rookie. Here's Wallace, defended by Thompson, and Williams punches it home. Not the tallest center in the league. He more than makes up for it with those crazy hops. The three, Smith. The Thunder pull it in. Hayward, left side. Let's the three fly. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Yeah, when Hayward has the ball, he watches all the angles. That's how he finds wide open guys to feed. Ooh, and Adam strong finish. Well, not many times does Adams get his number called for plays like that, but the oop there looked good. Here's Wallace. He's covered by Holiday. Outside, Williams. The Thunder, another three. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. Outside Holiday. Smith outside. Beyond the arc. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Holiday's got his third assist of the night. Well, that basket must be widening out right now. He's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. I mean, scoring on all three levels. Gordon Hayward is such a difficult assignment. Houston has gone five of eight from outside the three-point line in this one. Picked by Smith. Holiday with the ball. Now Wiggins defending. 
Back to Smith. Thompson outside. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Thompson's got six. You know, inside is where Thompson excels and the concentration allowing him to finish there. Wallace misses. The Rockets have gotten seven of their first nine shots to drop during the second. And the slam dunk by Thompson. I'll tell you what, it's good to be his age. Yeah, I don't have memories like that at my age, though. <laughs> Driving to the basket, the kick out to Williams. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Well, that was clearly a foul. A big group substitution here for Oklahoma City. And Williams drops them both. Houston has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. Pass to Van Vliet. Shangun, the screen. Van Vliet with it. And it's Kitty picking him up. And he commits the intentional foul. You don't want to stop the clock right there. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. Holmgren, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Van Vliet misses. Oklahoma City trailing. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander punches it home. Great job of just reading the defense by Holmgren. He just gets it. 36 seconds left in the first half of this one. Outside, Green. Let's a floater go. The shot no good. Giddy with a defensive effort. Dort outside. Baseline jumper. And too long on the shot. For Houston, they've gotten 8 of 12 attempts to drop since the beginning of the second. Pass to Green. Here's the three. Look at Green showing off his range. The shortest but toughest three on the floor. And Green just making it look easy. Gilgis Alexander from outside. Sinks the tray. Gilgis Alexander's got five points now in the quarter. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Jabari Smith has been leading the charge for the Rockets. Hunting for opportunities, leading to nine points in the quarter. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. Out in Miami, it'll be the Heat against the Bulls. That one tips off at 7 p.m. Eastern. Two elite squad. Now, as we look at the first half, the Rockets find themselves in a close ball game. The way they've attacked the lane? Oh, my God. Thanks, as always. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Chet Holmgren with a strong contribution so far in this one. Pretty much the entire first half, he was dominating down low, piling up a ton of dunks. Yeah, there's not any guy defensively that was bodying him up or contesting the shot, so right now he's feasting. Van Vliet and Green man the backcourt. Dylan Brooks is out there with Tari Eason, and it's Shangun in at the five. That's the five for Houston right now. Oklahoma City. All right, a chance now to take a look at the steals over the last few months for Shea Gilgis Alexander. And the defense he's played lately has really been tremendous. It's clear he's working his tail off on this end and collecting a number of steals as a result. You have to commend that type of effort. Well, wanting to do whatever is good for the team on any given possession, that time George playing unselfishly. <laughs> it was like there was some extra oof on that slam. I thought the defender might come after him, but I think he made a business decision. <laughs> Gilgis Alexander with the ball. He's picked up by Eason. A nice shot by Gilgis Alexander. He's got a lot to do with the position that they're in a very smart offensive performance tonight from him. Boy, the offensive instincts of Shea Gilgis Alexander, really something to see. Yeah, an incredible instinctual scorer and just a knack for making things happen offensively. Whether that means him scoring or setting up others, this guy is an elite offensive player. Yeah, 80%. Is that a good number from the field? I, I think so. Four or five here shooting. Terrific start. Green finds Shangun. Now Easton. Williams defending. Eason, pass to Shangun. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to go on Chet Holmgren. 
not getting old here, seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the third quarter. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Strong finish by Gilgis Alexander. And here's Van Fleet. He'll bring it up for the Rockets. Pass to Shangun. Van Fleet against Holmgren. And the ball out of play. The Thunder will have it. Let's see how last year's top scores stack up on the 2K leaderboard. The fourth spot held by Shea Gilgis Alexander. This is a guy who never took a night off. You look at his numbers and you know that he put in a tremendous effort every single game. Shoots. And again, it's Oklahoma City. They keep capturing the lead, then giving it back. We'll see if they can hold on to it this time. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. Here's Green from the arc. The Thunder pull it in. And Holmgren with the basket on the assist from Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got five assists tonight. And give him another one. He's six of eight and looking solid. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. Pass to Holmgren. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That one on Shangun. And you know, when you have the size and skill of a guy like Chet Holmgren, you're going to draw fouls. Both teams deciding to change it up. And you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on, he can be lights out. Up top, Smith, hounded by Wiggins. Wiggins against Smith. Shot clock at five. Here's Whitmore, and there's the slam dunk to finish it off. An impressive athlete. This rookie Whitmore loves getting inside and hammering it home. And just sinks it over the tall defender. That's why you have to crowd shooters on the perimeter. Yeah, that effort just not good enough because even if that defender was a bit taller, the shooter already locked in. And it's out of bounds to the Thunder as Oklahoma City retains possession. Williams is checked in for Holmgren. Thunder substitution. Number six, Jalen Williams. Oh, it's stolen by Adams. Here's Thompson. And the slam dunk by Thompson. That is Thompson's game, rocking the rim and giving his team some energy. It's Wiggins on the wing. Williams is screen on Smith. Wiggins passes to Williams. Back to Wiggins. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Joe. Second chance effort to the left wing. Here's Wallace going inside. Oh, and he brings it down with a two-handed jam. Woo-wee! What a big finish out of the backcourt. That might be exactly what they needed at this point of the game. Defense has got to be better. Flat-out effort was not there. Adams. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. Adams has got his third bucket of the night. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. A late second round pick in 2021. But Aaron Wiggins has earned his way into NBA minutes. And not a big name in college at Maryland, but he just continued developing. And everyone, of course, runs their own race. He's here now, and he is capitalized. Unable to knock them all down, but still, he puts them up by one. Williams passes to Hayward from deep three-point land. Williams, that's good. Williams has got ten. This is what he does. Find space on the perimeter and then sink the three. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. And the basket by Holiday. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Here's Joe. That's tipped. Wiggins passes to Joe. The three. Wiggins, no good. Pass to Whitmore. And here's Holiday. 
What a performance for Shea Gilgis Alexander. He has been the story for the Thunder. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Houston has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. And Oklahoma City looking at who they've got to start the fourth. In at forward, it's Jordan Williams. Josh Giddy out there with Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Holmgren in at the center position. And he drops the first. And what I like about Thompson, along with the high-level athleticism, he has a high-level feel for the game. Outside Giddy. Gilgis Alexander from outside. Giddy finds Gilgis Alexander. Outside Giddy. Holmgren goes in. And the big finish by Holmgren. And putting some power behind his drive. Holmgren managing to get there for an easy slam. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Whitmore. That's, that's tough because that one's preventable. The defense has nothing to do at all with that turnover. And it's a completely new group for the Rockets. Gilgis Alexander against Van Vliet. Outside, Williams. No good on the triple. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Pass to Shangun. And Shangun throw it down. Oh, what great action we've seen tonight. Hard to imagine a more entertaining game. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. You know, Brent, something that really stands out about Lou Dort is his razor-sharp defense. Well, he puts a ton of pressure on shooters and will lock up star players. And the reason why, B.A., he's got this low center of gravity. He gets up underneath guys, and he continues to be a pest for every minute that he's defending. Shangun passes to Brooks. On the wing, Green. Pass to Brooks. Five to shoot. And he bangs it home with one hand. Yeah, just showcasing his athleticism. When Brooks gets open space around the rim, he looks to throw it down with authority. And it's Giddy missing. There's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. Green for three. The kick out to Van Vliet. To the paint to take the lead. Brooks outside. Another shot. And he converts the layup. And the Rockets lead by two. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Oklahoma City Hall. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. And it's Giddy missing. And so it's Van Vliet with it. He brings it up for the Rockets. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Three-pointer, Brooks. Short grabs the miss. The Thunder have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Holmgren, the pass to Williams. And Williams punches it home. You gotta love the effort there. An undersized four who can really make things happen with that leaping ability. Pass to Shengu. The Thunder pull it in. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them too. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander sinks a big one. And SGA is used to burying these kind of big-time shots. Just an outstanding leader for this team. And lead against Gilgis Alexander. Van Vliet left side. That one falls. I mean, you have to love the intensity Van Vliet plays with in these situations. He's always ready to meet a challenge. From deep, Gilgis Alexander. It's rebounded by Shangun. Shangun's got five rebounds tonight. Three, one right at the rim. And it's hammered home by Green. And 
demonstrating how fearless he is. Reed welcomes the chance to take important shots. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. Get up there, young fella. Sometimes as a point guard, you got to take it yourself. Well, it's okay to be selfish when you can flush it like that. Well, if he's calling his own number, there's a reason for it. There you respect the decision-making from him out there. Pass to Dort. Oh, Brooks with the steal. On the wing, Green. Getting defense. This is Green at his best. Electric off the bounce. Did a great, great finish. Here's Holmgren. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Giddy. Shot clock at six. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Guarded by Van Vliet. Gilgis Alexander attacking. Wow. That takes steady nerves right there. <laughs> Not backing down from this moment here. When the game is close, he kicks it up a notch. On the wing, Green. The layup off target. Dort for three. Out of bounds. It'll be Rockets ball. Brutal play at this point. It's frustrating because they battled so hard all night. Smith, he's checked in for Eason. 34 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Shang a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander with a steal. SGA with the big finish on the fast break. Ah, uh, say it with me now. S G A. Get it done. And lead against Gilgis Alexander. Here's Smith. He takes it in. So much speed from Shea. He used it there to get by the defense. Nine seconds left in the fourth. Here's Shang Goon. No good. Second personal foul. Second team foul. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to go. Two shots. And he does get the second one. And that narrows the gap to one. And they foul intentionally. Now, they're going to have to do that again. They're not in the penalty just yet. Yeah, no, you had to do that. I mean, you can't allow them to dribble out the time. Now a timeout called by Houston. They're down by one. Five ticks left in the game. All right, guys, what's your take? The only choice here is to foul. Can't allow the offense to stall and run out the clock. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Good on the first, and that'll put him up two. Important free throw opportunity here, and this is where a young player like Holmgren has got to show that the work is paying off. Well, important there to have the three-point lead because only a three can tie it up now. Tries a three off the inbound. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. And there's only one option. They need a triple. It's can you get it off in time? Counts at the buzzer! That's a field goal. Wow! is ended and we are headed to overtime and we'll return shortly glad to have you with us as we get going in overtime neither team giving an inch in this game Smith plays the four with Shingun at the five Van Vliet and Green man the backcourt, and it's Brooks in at small forward. The floater. It's rebounded by Houston. Van Vliet with it, and it's Dort picking him up. Van Vliet scanning the floor. The 
shot that time not on target. Great D that time from Holmgren. From Pete Giddy. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. And the Thunder lead by three. No nerves from Josh Giddy that time. For three, Smith. And another miss by Houston. And for the Thunder, they're shooting 74%. Just an unbelievable offensive display here. B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering at home like that. Outside, green. Picked by Smith. Out to the wing. Jacks up a three. The Thunder with the rebound. Giddy's got four rebounds now. Gilgis Alexander from outside. Oh, my! Came close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. It goes on Fred Van Vliet. You know Shane Gilgis Alexander has so many of the qualities that you want in a leader. Fights, he's energetic, he's a team-first guy. He just looks for ways to get his guys fired up. The Rockets have gotten no shots to fall out of four tries here in OT. Shangoon, a screen on Gilgis Alexander. It's Van Vliet with a drive. Here's Shangoon. Gets the three ball to go. Shangoon's got 19 points. And not where he earns his money, that three-point shot. But he's a good shooter from that range if he's got space. Holmgren with a screen on Van Vliet. Pass to Holmgren. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Here's Holmgren. It's Dort on the wing. Four on the clock. Holmgren, the pass to Giddy. Gets the trifecta. Trying to get more comfortable from deep. Giddy looking solid on that one from three. Smith with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Smith outside. Launches a three. He's off on that one. And so it's Gilgis Alexander with it. He brings it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Pass to Holmgren. Takes a three. Rebound by Van Vliet. How about the unselfishness of this team? Yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambling. Absolutely fearless. Green takes the big shot like it's any other bucket. Gilgis Alexander against Van Vliet. Pass to Giddy. Gilgis Alexander from outside. The shot's good on the assist by Giddy. Gilgis Alexander's got 32 points in the game. Two second difference between shot and game clock. And it's Green missing. So it's the Thunder now. They lead by seven. Gilgis Alexander against Van Vliet. Now here's Gilgis Alexander.
season, it's not uncommon to see some nerves or even sloppy play. No doubt. I mean, as a player, you put so much time and effort into preparing for the season. Sometimes emotions can get the best of you, and it can take a little time to settle into a game. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. Dort and Williams up in the forward position. Josh Giddy is out there with Gilgis Alexander, and it's Holmgren in at the five, roaming the paint. And so it's the Knicks getting on the board first. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And Gilgis Alexander throws. The down. Boy, Shea Gilgis Alexander just slicing his way inside. No doubt on the finish. Here's DiVincenzo. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Well, Doris thinking about last season for the Knicks. Clearly a step forward. Well, Kevin, you have to consider it a win because you go ahead and advance in the playoffs for just the second time since their 99 finals run. Adding Jalen Brunson to the mix was obviously a great decision. This looks like an organization moving in exactly the direction you hope. Inside, Randall, and Randall throws it down. What you see is continued improvement in his ability to create for others. Great to see OG Ananobi make the open read. And Gilgis Alexander the bucket on the assist from Williams. Gilgis Alexander's got his second bucket of the night. Robinson a screen on Gilgis Alexander. And it's Robinson with the jam. You love the effort Brunson puts into creating for others, working to make sure the defense is manipulated there. Now, here's Holmgren. Holmgren with a screen on Ananobi. And Gilgis Alexander throws it down. Gives the team such a great element, having a one guard who can get to the 10. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. Well, you love it. Fearless, aggressive, leaving no doubt whatsoever. Sinks the three-pointer. Randall's got five now. Well, Julius Randall has put in time to grow his ability to make three-point shots. Nice delivery. Pretty dime there. The kind of ball movement coaches love to see. Now, here's DiVincenzo. Power down with both hands. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. I tell you, you can't get stops if you're unwilling to put in the work. Here's Williams. The Knicks making the shot. Two open that time. Made it look too easy. Holmgren's got his second bucket of the game to go. And with that threat of the outside jumper, Holmgren generates space for this offense. Boy, a really tough quarter for this guy. Just struggling to make shots right now. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Williams. Let's it go. And there's another one for the Thunder. Boy, he's heating up fast coming out of the gate. Four out of five from the field. Brunson kicks to Robinson. The pass to on and open. And even Genzo with it. Shot clock at six. Buries it from three-point range. He's got seven. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Now here's Williams. Still scoreless. Or three, Holmgren. Wingspan, athleticism, verticality. Robinson with authority sends it back. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Holmgren wide open. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Brunson against Gilgis Alexander. Here's Ananobi with the drive. Oh, give it to him at the rim, OG Ananobi. That's power athleticism. Beautifully done. You know, Doris, something to admire about Julius Randle is the joy, the pure joy he takes in this game. Well, joy obviously comes when we're successful at something. And Julius Randle has become consistently successful at NBA basketball. He's worked hard to make that perimeter game as dangerous as his dribble drive game. And that kind of balance leads to great success. 
The shot misses. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. How about five of six to start? Looks like he brought his A game. Here's DiVincenzo. After the made shot from Shea Gilgis Alexander. <laughs> so far, both teams scorching the heads. You gotta love it. Well, you love it when you can get off to a fast start offensively. You hate it, though, when your opponent does the same. The shot and game clock separated by four. Williams with a clean look, and the Thunder another three. Well, pretty pass from Shea Gilgis Alexander. This guy can score it, but make sure you're lifting up the guys around you. Oh, here's Giddy. Pass to Holmgren. One second left. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. Shea Gilgis Alexander, guys, has been on the... And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. Scoring breakdown for the Thunder. So far, they move the ball well, leading to open, high-percentage looks. Lots of assists in this one. The other thing they're doing is making plays off the bounce. And boy, once they get a step, they're getting all the way. They've got Hartenstein. Aganovich out there with Precious Achua. Then there's Alec Burks. And it's McBride in a point guard. That's the five for New York right now. Now, Boyan Bogdanovich is as well-rounded a basketball player as you'll find. This guy contributes to winning in any number of ways. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. During the summer of 2019 DB, Oklahoma City traded Paul George to the Clippers. They got Shea Gilgis Alexander in that trade. He goes on to become an all NBA selection and looks like his future is like all-star level every year. Not only that, you got a boatload of picks, one of which was Jalen Williams, who's a big time upside player in this league. Wow, what a deal for this group. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. All right, a chance to check out stats for Burks. How he did last season. Averaged about 12 points a game, three rebounds, and two assists. Well, fans of this team will take this kind of production from him without hesitation. I tell you, he has been a solid contributor. They have called his number, and he has delivered for them. Trying to find a Jua and gets it to him. That's how you share the rock. He does this time and time again. Well, it was the Oklahoma City Thunder winning their last game against Dallas. Here's Williams. Out to Hayward. Passes it to Joe. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And a big concern for players and coaches is the consistency of officiating. Greg, do you like that argument? It's tough when one night something is a foul and the next night it isn't. There's some gray area, obviously. And it'd be good for the league to try and clarify how they want things called. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Joe passes to Williams. Here's Joe. Burks covering. Back to Williams. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. They set the pick to the middle. Here's Hartenstein, and down it goes. Dunk through off a wonderful assist. Well, how about the court awareness from Bogdanovich showing off his ability to find the open man, Kev? Joe can't get it to go. Burks looking around. Hartenstein, and the layup falls. Now it's a four-point New York lead. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. On its way from Hayward for two. Wallace outside. Going inside. Out to Hayward. Six on the shot clock. Oklahoma City needs to get off the shot. The shot by Williams, no good. 
Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. I'll tell you, you are playing with fire anytime you leave this guy open, and they just got burned. Now here's Wolves. Defense is right there. The Thunder with another miss. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Burks dishes to Bogdanovich. And the Knicks hit again from deep. Oh, great ball movement there. And they're trailing by 10. A three-pointer. Wiggins. Knicks with the rebound. Hartenstein's got five rebounds tonight. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Thanks very much. Now, the league says it wants every team to play to win, but all-star Kevin Durant said it's just not realistic, adding each year only a few teams can win it. If you're not going to be a playoff or play-in team, might as well go for a top pick, get some reps for guys who ordinarily wouldn't make the rotation, and maybe change their lives as well. Kevin? And that's an interesting take. Thanks, D.A. Here's Joe after Alec Burks' score. Joe can't get it to go. And they've only got a slight edge on the boards, but it, it just feels a lot bigger. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. And a whole new group out on the floor right now for the Knicks. Yeah, after a first quarter where they struggled from long range, they really started to get it closer to the basket. Shot to stop the run. Robinson pulls it in. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. It's just been one of those games, and they need to find a way to turn it around before it gets completely away from them. Now, DiVincenzo. After the miss three from Shea Gilgis Alexander. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. This is his second trip to the line in this one. At the line. He's off on the second. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. And Gilgis Alexander gets it to go. Well, you just get to your spot and rise and fire. The confident pull-up from Mr. Shea Gilgis Alexander. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Man, he sure can get off the floor. One of the best in the business, absolutely. And so it's New York up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. We come back right after this. Hello, everybody. Maybe we don't get to see this every night. They're passing up good shots for great shots, getting high percentage looks. That's how they've controlled the game. And since we've got a moment, let's... And that's a halftime... Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You know, Shea Gilgis Alexander has been exceptional here tonight, guys. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. I think they've taken their time. They've showed incredible patience. It's a sign of a well-coached ball club. So the Thunder Five right now. The post pair form will be Williams and Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander out there with Josh Giddy. And it's Dort into the small forward position. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Mitchell Robinson making his last shot. Back to Holmgren. Robinson with the block. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. They get the rebound. Pass to DiVincenzo. He kicks it to Randall. Three-pointer. And DiVincenzo is good for three. DiVincenzo's got 15 points. Julius Randle can do a little bit of everything. That's a great find to get his teammate an open look. 
That should give them a nice little jolt. Uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt, GA. Well, sometimes it's about taking it into your own hands. That kind of individual play can spark his group. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Now here's Giddy. He has yet to score. And the pass to Holmgren. Takes a three. It's rebounded by Ananobi. Well, trying to find themselves in the second half here. Just one for four from the field. Can someone in the group get hot? Let's see. And you look at the evolution of Ananobi's game, Doris. He's much more than a three and D guy. You know, Kevin, here's a young man who does a little bit of everything. He can score and defend in a variety of ways. Cross-positional defensively between one and four. And an offensive game that continues to grow. He can get out and put pressure on transition. Little bit of a streaky shooter, but there's so much to like. And here are the Knicks now, following the score by Oklahoma City. Randall kicks to DiVincenzo. Beyond the arc. And it's Shea Gilgis-Alexander with the rebound. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Down by 15. Here's Williams, and Williams throws it down. I'll tell you, that vertical ability he has puts him in select company in NBA power forwards. May not have great size, but boy, he plays bigger than it. Now here's Brunson. Plays it up off the glass. Brunson's got his second basket of the game. Well, this is the very definition of Jalen Brunson's game. His ability to get past defenders and create for himself or his teammates. That is nicely done. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket guy still shaking. That's their third straight make off an assist. To the paint. Here's Holmgren. Good on the shot. I'll tell you, individually, he is doing all he can. But right now, somebody's got to step in and support this guy. And a whole new group out on the floor right now for the Knicks. And a new group getting ready for Oklahoma City. Hey, Doris, you grew up in New York. The pressure of playing in the big city. Is that a real thing? Oh, absolutely, Kevin. If you're playing in the media capital of the world, everything is magnified. And I think that holds true for the other respective large cities. Los Angeles and Chicago come to mind. As to Hartenstein. Here's a two. Oh. Oh. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go. Maybe it is showtime. Williams is checked in for the Thunder. Thunder trailing by 14. They set the screen. Wallace attacking. And Wallace slams it in. I'll bet even they didn't think the pick would work that well. No, no, no. And they get the major league dunk out of it, too. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. Joe can't get it to go. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Hartenstein passes to Burks. To the inside. Pass to Achua. Here's Hartenstein. Makes it off the glass. Hartenstein's got eight points. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Now here's Wallace. Pass to Joe. Releases. That one off the back iron and out. The Knicks leading by 14. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. Oklahoma City's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. They set the pick. Wallace the pass to Joe. Wallace inside. Here's Williams. The Thunder with another miss. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. 
And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feat. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Achua is out there with Bogdanovich. Then there's Alec Burks. And it's Hartenstein in at the center, filling out the middle. That's the five for New York right now. Now here's Hayward. Wallace outside. Back to Wiggins. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. And Oklahoma City going with a whole new group out there. Substitution on the court. Brunson against Gilgis Alexander. DiVincenzo. Robinson left side. Back to DiVincenzo. Fires from the wing. He can't get that one. Well, that's a blown defensive coverage, but it doesn't matter. He cannot answer the bell. And so Oklahoma City again turning it over. Listen, turnovers happen. You've got to move on to the next play. New York leading by 18. Brunson scanning the floor. And there's the pass to DiVincenzo. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. Brunson's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Gilgis Alexander against Ananobi. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He's guarded closely. It's stolen by Randall. Down low, Ananobi kicks to Brunson. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. Barry's the long-range jumper. Yeah, there's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the deep. Here's Dort. They get it back. On the wing, Giddy. They need this. It's rebounded by New York. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Knocked away. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have go a jump ball. Jump ball. Robinson passes to Brunson. Oh, he touched it while it was in the cylinder. That's offensive basket interference. And Greg, while the commissioner might not like player trade requests, Kevin Durant said it's great for the league for players to have that leverage. Where do you stand? Well, I wouldn't go that far. Uh, the main thing is trying to keep those requests in-house. Otherwise, it can be deflating for fans. Pass to Giddy. Let's it go with a three. The shot's good. Gilgis Alexander making the play. Gilgis Alexander's got his sixth assist on the night. In regard to the Thunder, they had to go through, Greg, a rebuilding process not too long ago. Yeah, it was a tough couple years, but they had a plan in place and did it the right way. They made some smart signings and created a very balanced roster. Well, because Jalen Brunson's such a terrific decision maker, you can tell how confident and comfortable this team is when he runs the offense. It's rebounded by Ananobi. And so Ananobi will bring it up for the New York Knicks. They played a great fourth quarter defensively, allowing only three points. Now here's Brunson. Puts one up from 19. And Robinson that time on the assist by Brunson. This is about the extent of Mitchell Robinson's game. But boy, he's putting in work in the mid-range. Passes it to Holmgren. Now, Gilgis Alexander. And a fast break now for New York. Even Shenzo with it. Defended by Giddy. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for New York. All game long, they've had active hands and, and really out in the passing lanes. And that aggression on defense has resulted in a ton of steal. I think it's also important we have to acknowledge how many scoring opportunities they've created from their spectacular defense, getting a bunch of points off turnovers. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. 
big time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a galley win for New York. You don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And it will go down as their first official win of the new year. And it looks like they're going to spare themselves the embarrassment of being swept in the season series by winning this last one. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Thunder will retain possession. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. Yeah, the anticipation was there. The hustle was there. Very close to picking that one. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. And Gilgis Alexander, here we go. And the dunk by Gilgis Alexander. There's so many ways Shea Gilgis Alexander can create for this offense. He's becoming one of the top scorers in the game. Making every effort to put this game on ice. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Now here's Williams. Pass to Giddy. Feeds it to Holmgren. Robinson with the block. Robinson with it. And that's a foul called on Shea Gilgis Alexander. That's foul number two for him. Yeah, clearly a foul of frustration right there. Now Brunson.
quite like this go. first one of the year. You know, as a former player, you know firsthand that there's so much anticipation and hard work that goes into making it to opening day. So everyone right now is on a level playing field, and the dream is still alive. Now let's take a look at the Rockets' opening lineup. Tari Eason is out there with Alperon Shangun. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. Then it's Thompson. And it's Brooks in at the three. The small forward. And here's Brunson from the arc. And he's in the books. Now one for two. You know, some threes look better than others. And Brunson's lefty stroke from three is a beautiful thing. For three, DiVincenzo drains the triple. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Van Vliet finds Shangun. On the wing, Thompson. Here's Easton. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. For New York, they've gone two of three from the floor. For three, DiVincenzo. Book it. And it's Randall with the assist. DiVincenzo's got six. And there's DiVincenzo with the quick trigger. And not give him any room defensively. You've got to eliminate his airspace. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. Well, I like the way he capped off that drive. The one-hand hole punch. And it's the Knicks with the ball. After the Rockets picked up the basket a moment ago. I don't think the defense was ready for DiVincenzo to get assertive like that. Dunking right on top of him there. Oops, upside your head. Here's Shangun. And Shangun throw it down. A strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with that one, Grant. Well, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two-hand. Nice shot by DiVincenzo. Wow, <laughs> their opponent is doing a tremendous job spacing the floor. Well, after finishing tied for last in the West last year, Clark, Houston is looking for a turn of events. You know, 13 guys on last year's roster, B.A., with three years of experience or less. But this summer... Houston bringing in some good vets, headlined by Fred Van Vliet, and they're looking to compete at a much higher level. Ooh, too long in the paint, and he's hit with a three-second violation. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Knicks. You know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from distance. You've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. And something else I've noticed is how they've been able to cause turnovers and take advantage of them on the offensive end, not wasting those extra chances at all. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with guns blazing. Right side, Brunson. And it's stolen by Van Vliet. Back comes Houston in transition. It's Easton with the jam. Transition basketball, the most reliable way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Now here's Randall. Back to Robinson. Robinson, a screen on Thompson. DiVincenzo. It's rebounded by Shangun. And even with the miss, that's a high percentage shot for him. Thompson attacking. Oh, and the jam by Thompson. That's unreal. I mean, Thompson, that boy's going to hit his head on the rim one day. Oh. Ananobi passes to Brunson. Fires from deep. Nails it from three. Brunson's got seven. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now here's Eason. Back to Shangun. Pass to Van Vliet. Clock at six. Outside Eason. Launches it. And a great assist by Van Vliet as that one goes. Van Vliet's got three assists now in this one. Brunson passes to Ananobi. Back to Brunson. On the take. And it falls for him. He's hit three of his first four attempts. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. Very high percentage so far. And... If you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. And stolen by Brunson on the break. Here's DiVincenzo. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. No question about it. DiVincenzo has found his rhythm tonight, making it look easy on offense. Shangun passes to Van Vliet. And stolen by Brunson. Randall outside. 
Eason against DiVincenzo. Adenobi passes to DiVincenzo. And a miss there on the triple. And so Thompson will bring it up for Houston. Nine-point game. Last time they met was in Houston. Yeah, last time out, they barely captured a win against this team. And it came down to some key turnovers. Well, composure, execution, efficiency in a tight ball game is typically what's going to determine the winner. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Woo, hard work creating the second chance opportunity. And so it's the New York Knicks finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. They've been... And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. All right, before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Knicks? Simply put, they look totally fearless on the defensive end. Well, you know, the defense, guys, is just disruptive, active, and energetic, and you can't afford to be loose with the ball against these guys. So on the floor for Houston, they've got Whitmore, Jabari Smith out there with Steven Adams. Then it's Aaron Holiday, and it's Green in at the two guard. The Knicks with the lead. Here's Burks. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Well, Grant is the managing director of the U.S. men's national team. You've gotten to see the wealth of international talent firsthand. It's so true, B.A. I mean, I've got so much respect for the international game. You know, over 25% of the players in the NBA right now are international players, and they produce superstar talents like Doncic, Giannis, Embiid, and Jokic. The U.S. has more competition now than ever. Now here's Bogdanovich. Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easy. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. A chance here to catch up with Ali from the sideline. The Knicks are in the nation's media capital, but Coach Tom Thibodeau said, I've never felt pressure. I've been at this a long time. I approach it the same way. I put everything I have into each and every day. I'm willing to live with that result. There's no one, no one who studies this team harder than I do. No, he has made the difference for sure. Thanks, Allie. Good on both. Yeah, they're playing a much more physical game here in the second quarter. Boy, it certainly appears to be the case. I mean, they've spent a lot of time at the foul line this quarter, and that's the result of attacking the rim and being physical. Now here's Holiday. He had nine points in his last time out. A nice shot by Smith. Love the confident approach by Smith Jr. Looked very decisive there. Bogdanovich down low, covered by Smith. Off target at the rim. And talking about Jabari Smith, a talented young forward with a bright future for him. Really excited about his future because he does everything smoothly and easily. Good IQ. I think he just needs to add a little strength to really optimize what he has in his back. Boy, I believe Green has all the tools to be a phenomenal scorer in this league. Just needs to continue to develop. A new lineup here for New York. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter. Outside Brunson. Randall outside. The crossover. Brunson misses. The Rockets have gone three of three to begin the second. They are looking really strong offensively. Yeah, just terrific momentum. Let's see if they can keep it up. Great dime that time by Smith Jr. there. You see the floor awareness really starting to improve. Here's Brunson following the score by Houston. And Anobi finds Brunson. So confident at the rim. Adds to their lead. They've been able to rely on him all night. Here's Whitmore. Driving in. It's rebounded by New York. They've led by as many as 11. Outside Brunson. Back to Randall. And it's Randall with the jam. With the handle goes Julius Randall. Boy, there's a lot you got to like about this kid. Robinson passes to Randall. From deep. 
Adams grabs the miss. The Rockets trail. Green against DiVincenzo. Out to the right wing. Here's Smith. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Smith's got five points now this quarter. All that time in the weight room for Smith Jr. Starting to pay dividends. Look like it on that finish for sure. Brunson taking his time here. Shot clock at six. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. And the Rockets going with a whole new group out there. And he makes both free throws. Houston has gone four or five from outside the arc in this one. Van Vliet finds Brooks. And he dunks it down. Yeah, no question Van Vliet was going to find his man. He has excellent court vision. Pass to Ananobi. Back to DiVincenzo. Here he goes. And he drops in the layup off the glass. DiVincenzo's got 15. One of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end. Always in attack mode. The Knicks have gone four for seven in the second quarter. Here's Randall. And it's Randall with the jam. Boy, what a throwdown by the well-built 6'9 Julius Randall with power. Out of bounds. It'll be Knicks ball. And they came in third in terms of second chance points. They did a great job chasing after shots and playing aggressively on the offensive glass to make the most of every possession. And as you said, a great year for them on the glass. They battled down low. Now here's DiVincenzo. 15 points in the game. Quick feet there by DiVincenzo. Once he gets a step on the defense, it's a wrap. Pass to Thompson. Oh, and the jam by Thompson. B.A., forget about attempting the long-range three to cut into that lead. Just attack the rim, my man. Man, that was sweet. Exercising his authority. And here's Van Fleet from the arc. It's all in by Robinson. Robinson's got his fifth rebound in this one. Now here's DiVincenzo. Robinson passes to DiVincenzo. Stolen by Thompson. The finish! And the slam dunk by Thompson. And this is a savvy play for a rookie. Not only does Thompson get the steal, but he quickly sends it away. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. And so it's New York, up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. Getting lots of great looks, shooting it well. That's why they're up. Back to the game after this break. It's impressive how well they protected the ball. No messy dribbling. They kept it on the string, fellas, and that's prevented. And now let's take a... That does it for halftime. Well, for those just tuning in, thanks for being with us. Second half of this game still to play. It's been quite a game for Dante DiVincenzo. Yeah, tonight, he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. They've got Isaiah Hartenstein. Precious Achua is out there with Boyan Bogdanovich. Then there's Alec Burks, and it's McBride in at the point guard position. That's the five for New York right now. First for New York has gone 5 of 10 from beyond the three-point line in this game. Hardenstein passes to McBride. Burks for three. Gets the three to fall. Burks has gotten four this quarter. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. Smith outside. Shakes him. And it's Houston scoring again. Good stuff that time from Smith stepping in for his jump. 
Outside Bogdanovich. Pass to Achua. Oh, the block! Just stops it cold and takes possession. And here we go. The Rockets in transition. And down it goes. Dunked it through off a beautiful setup. Boy, Smith put some real power behind that jam. Well done, young man. Right side, Bogdanovich. Burks against Green. Six to shoot. McBride passes to Hartenstein. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. And it's going to be a 24-second violation. They turn it over. Pass to Whitmore. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's on Alec Burks. In addition to skill set, most rookies need to adjust physically to the NBA. Not Whitmore. He's got grown man strength. And that trip coming up empty. Missing both. Here's Burks. And the powerful one-handed slam. And adds a few more points to their lead. Showing off some style. Wow, that was prime time stuff right there. Guys, it is symbolic of their effort here tonight. Well, I like this execution coming out of the half. Solid. Three for four from the field so far. Here's McBride. He's covered by Holiday. To the middle. Here's Hartenstein. Pass to Achua. Burks against Green. Achua for three. Adams grabs the miss. Adams has got four rebounds now. Smith passes to Green. The three is up. Hartenstein pulls it in. Oh, deflected. Oh, it's stolen by Adams. Smith outside. Pass to Adams. Here's Whitmore. Inside. Stolen by Burks. Fast break. New York. Here's McBride. Oh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. And until recently, it seemed like a foregone conclusion that the NBA's age limit would come back down to 18. Are you surprised that didn't happen, Grant? You know, B.A., I am surprised. We heard players saying it's not fair to make guys wait. You know, Commissioner Silver seemed receptive, so that was slightly unexpected that age 19 remains the rule. Now here's Holiday. And with that one, the deficit trimmed to single digits. Holiday's got five points. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Well, I'm gonna credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Here's McBride. They've got a nine-point lead. Achua passes to Hartenstein. Six on the shot clock. Bogdanovich finds Achua. Pulls up on the wing. Rockets with a rebound. Outside, Green. Smith outside. And he's going for the oop here. And it's slammed in by Adams. You're always a good idea to throw it up to Adams and let him stuff it. Hardenstein passes to McBride. And there's the drive. Outside, Burks. Hardenstein a screen. Pass to McBride. Back to Burks. There's the three. New York no good that time either. And so Holiday will bring it up for Houston. They trail by seven. They're making smart adjustments, setting guys up for success. It's certainly been an impressive run. They finally found the right formula to break down the defense. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Burks passes to Bogdanovich. McBride. Pass to Achua. Outside Burks. It's stolen by Green. Fast break. Here come the Rockets. And offensively, a great show for the fans through the first three quarters. It's been a... And we take a listen in now to Tom Tibbet. Offensively, 
We got to do it. Man, I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter on the court for the Rockets. They've got Tara Eason, Fred Van Vliet out there with Thompson. Then there's Alperon Shangoon. And it's Brooks in at the small forward position. Turkish Thunder, Shangoon, tasting the sauce up top. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And you know, that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks guys don't last minutes. They last days. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Knicks. The way they've been able to consistently get past the defense and to the cup has been most impressive. They've almost made it look pedestrian. They've also been striking from mid-range with great consistency tonight. They just own that part of the floor in this one. Good find that time by DiVincenzo, an unselfish player always looking to make the extra pass. It's Eason with the jam. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. Hey, guys. Oh! Entertaining the fans and the broadcasters. And they blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance at another one at the stripe. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Robinson passes to Randall. And here's Brunson. Let's go with a three. Ooh, Brunson, the sweet lefty stroke. And no matter how the D's coming at him tonight, Brunson has adapted. And that's what great scores do. They figure it out. Down low. The kick out to Van Vliet. Fires the three. And the Rockets hit again from deep. Cool, calm, and collected at a critical juncture in this game. Here's Randall. Soft touch off the glass. Boy, down low, Randall can throw those 250 LBs around and create havoc. Tough for the defense to slow him down. DiVincenzo with a steal. Randall, the pass to Robinson. That one doesn't drop. Eason with some nice D. For Houston, they've got all four shots to go in this final quarter. And the basket by Van Vliet. And the luxury of having Van Vliet. He doesn't need the ball to score. Fred can work off the rock and be a spot-up shooter. Here's Brunson. And they cash it in right away with a quick shot. Brunson's got 20 points. Oh, he has a lot of tools in the toolkit. That right there was just one of them. Shingoon. And Shingoon throw it down. Yeah, one thing about Van Vliet, he makes the right decision most of the time. And it's Randall with the jam. Bomb when it counts. Randall has that clutch DNA. Van Vliet scanning the floor. Here's Brooks. They get it back to the wing, right side. That's good from Eason on the assist by Shingu. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. And a big finish by Robinson. And the find by Brunson. More than capable of running the offense. Eason pass to Shingu. Brunson against Van Vliet. And the lamp is good off the glass. Van Vliet's got seven points for the quarter. I mean, you have to love the intensity Van Vliet plays with in these situations. He's always ready to meet a challenge. Brunson against Van Vliet. Pass to DiVincenzo. Back to Brunson. Just five on the clock. Lays it up and banks it in. He's got 22. I mean, towards the end of the game, you want Brunson out there, and he can do some special things for you. Shang a screen on Brunson. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Some solid defense from Brunson. And so Randall will bring it up for the New York Knicks. They've led by as many as 14.
Drives in. Money. Oh, this young kid is fun. Randall proving at the moment not too big for him. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Outside Easton for three. They get it back. Van Vliet outside. From downtown. Cash. And he's brought them within two points now. <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game. Yes. There's 31 seconds left in the final quarter. Robinson passes to DiVincenzo. Pass to Brunson. Shot clock at six. He connects! And they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. I don't think you want to get loose and sloppy or ease up, but it is time for them to start using that clock again. The name of the game isn't scoring, it's scoring efficiency. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Yeah, just a must-foul situation to stop the clock. And you know what? Who knows? A few misses at the strike, and they're right there within range. You know, late-game free throws are a lot different than early-game free throws in terms of making them. That last free throw was good. Their only choice now is to go for the three to tie. Here's Van Vliet. The Knicks with the rebound. And here's Randall. Yes! Defensively, you just can't afford to give these easy looks up. Just asking to get...
positions more than any other, evolving quite a bit in recent years. Yeah, more versatility is required now than ever before. And both of these teams are loaded with talent in their front court. This should be an exciting watch. Here's the starting group for Houston. Brooks is out there with Tari Eason. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. Then it's Thompson. And it's Shangun in at the center, filling out the middle. And it's Thompson with the jam. And he's got rocket ship like takeoff. Thompson can flat out fly. Williams against Eason. And the foul on Tori Eason. That is his first foul of the game. Oh, they've got their eyes on him. Calling the foul right away. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Oh, good that time. I think at the last second he decided to get slick. I think he'll make that mistake again. Van Vliet outside. Back to Thompson. Over Giddy. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Each of the Houston Rockets were once a powerhouse team in the West, especially during the 2010. Yeah, they even gave the KD and Steph Curry Warriors a run for their money. Look, the James Harden era in Houston was special, and now they're trying to get back into contention. Thompson is one of the best pure athletes to come into the league in quite some time. He's fast, and boy, can he fly. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Really unfazed. Throw his height right out the window there. Gilgis Alexander against Van Vliet. Pass to Williams. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Stolen by Thompson. Near the three-point line, it's Van Vliet. The offensive rebound. Thompson outside. And it's Thompson with the jam. And that is first class right there. Can you believe that, Tom? I'm not sure, Greg, I can. Holmgren gets the bucket. And with that threat of the outside jumper, Holmgren generates space for this offense. Brooks dishes to Thompson. On the wing, Brooks. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer off line. Giddy with it, picked up by Thompson. And Giddy gets it to go. How about the floor awareness by Gilgis Alexander? Solid at just spotting his open teammate. And there's the drive. And out of bounds as the Thunder gain possession. Chance now to take a look at some of the steal numbers over the scope of the last few months for Fred Van Vliet. Defensively, he's really stepped it up over the past few months. You can see the jump in his steal numbers, and it hasn't been by accident. He's put in a ton of effort at the defensive end, and boy, is it paying off. Yeah, nice, strong finish there. Nearly a three-point opportunity. Oklahoma City shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. And they shot 81% from the line last season as a team, so you, you really can't find fault with what they're able to do there. Here's Thompson to halt the run. And the rejection by Holmgren. And now only one away from being in the penalty. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And, and over the course of last year, he was up over 90%. And with a stroke like that, you see why. And so it's short with it. He brings it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Four-point game. Giddy against Thompson. Here's Gilgis Alexander. That's good, and so Giddy with the assist. Gilgis Alexander's got his second basket of the night. Gilgis Alexander against Van Vliet. Holmgren with the steal. Jumps up, and the dunk by Holmgren. Yeah, Holmgren just hooks it up to the floor. And that kind of energy is what you love about rookies. Greg, we were just talking about Chet Holmgren, and he's a lot tougher, I think, than his frame might indicate. Physically and mentally, he does not 
back down. In fact, he, he's often the one who initiates contact. You, you think you're going to bully him? He's going to try to bully you. Here's Thompson driving to the basket. Tenacious on the attack. Thompson is fantastic at finding lanes to the basket. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Brooks with it. George covering. Near the three-point line, it's Van Vliet. And the Rockets getting another bucket right there. And, and just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. Back to Holmgren. That's his fourth basket of the game, and he's only taken four shots off to a good start. And great job from Holmgren. I like when he shows confidence attacking inside. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Giddy against Thompson. Giddy the pass to Holmgren. And stolen by Shangun. Here's Thompson, and it's Thompson with the jam. Well, if you don't take care of the ball... Fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. We know mistakes lead to breaks. That's just textbook right there. And he moves well for his size. And Holmgren's more than aggressive on his drive. And Shingun throws it down. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. There will be some let down at some point. But these teams, they are built to score, so... Gilgis Alexander looking around. For three, Holmgren, what a play! Simply drains it in at the buzzer. Ringing the bell. That's the way to close the quarter. He knew. And so it's Chet Holmgren making things happen for the Oklahoma City Thunder. He totaled 14 points in the quarter. He's given them all the offense they need right now. And we'll be back with you shortly. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for Oklahoma City. So far, they haven't had to force anything. They're swinging the ball around and turning good passing into points. Oh, man. that Their mid-range jumper also has been on fire. Tough to beat a group of guys shooting with that much confidence. Taking a look at the Rockets, they've got Steven Adams. Smith is out there with Whitmore. Then there's Jalen Green. And it's Holiday in at the one spot. They have to put a body on Adams. He's too good of an offensive rebounder to not pay attention. Out left to the wing. Williams kicks to Hayward. Wiggins, a screen on Green. Here's Hayward, and Adams sends it back. And Adams puts every ounce of energy into his defense. He's not out there to contest shots. He's out there to reject them. And looking now at some numbers for Steven Adams. Good season for him last year. Put up eight points per game, 11 rebounds, and two assists. And what a force he is on the glass. Just inhales rebounds. And he can go around his opponent, over his opponent, through his opponent. A true triple threat. Wallace against Holiday. Higgins outside. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. And he'll go to the line to shoot three. Yeah, he, there was definitely some contact there on the three-point attack. In recent years, we have seen some unexpected teams, Richard, get off to hot starts. Why do you think that is? Well, even if the front office is going a different direction, the players and coaches are not. Players don't care about a high draft pick. Players are out there making sure that they can be in a position to stay in this league. And it's Green with the jam. Look, one of Green's many advantages is how quickly he gets off the floor. Wallace against Holland. To the middle. Here's Hayward. And Hayward with the stuff. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. 
basketball. Great chemistry on display. He understood where to put the screen in order to free up his teammate. Adams. And Adams with the slam. And such great feel for the game. With more knowing where his teammates are at all times. Ball is with the ball. Now Green defending for three. Williams nailed from three-point land. You give a shooter of his caliber that much time to seam it up? Oh, yeah, you're done. Holiday, the pass to Adams. It's good, the assist that time from Holiday. Adams has got six. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And the Thunder lead by five. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooters. Kicks it to Green. And he drives in. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. So quick on the drive. When Green is slicing with confidence, he is hard to stop. What an entrance to the league Jalen Green has had. So much success early on in his career, and it was expected. He's a scoring machine. Anything he's asked to do on the floor, he can get it done. Here's Williams, just four to shoot. And it's slammed in by Williams. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? Yeah, you can feel a coach smiling on the sidelines with every offensive board. Now here are the 2K leaderboard with last season's top rebounding teams. The Rockets fourth. Last year, they had a very physical aspect of the game down. They were a very tough team to keep off the boards. Good on both. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. Wiggins, a screen on Howard. Here's Wallace. And the Thunder, another three. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Puts the move on. And it's finished off by Smith as he lays it in. Smith's got his first bucket of the night. They love seeing Smith active inside. That's when he takes his game to another level. Holiday against Wallace. Pass to Wiggins for three. The rebound by Steven Adams. Rockets trail by four. And Smith with a clear path to the hoop. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. As he gets more comfortable in unlocking his potential, we'll see Green get more comfortable in moving the ball. Well, Greg, I'm sure their coach is very pleased with their offensive flow right now. I mean, it's harder than it looks to get it going like this. Now they just have to maintain it. Ball is against Howard. Wallace attacking, and the slam dunk by Wallace. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Oh, man, when Cam Whitmore throws it down, you feel bad for the rim. The kick out to Williams. Hits the three-point bomb. Williams has got eight points here in this quarter. And I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. They get it again. The kick out to Holiday. Smith for three. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. A big man who can score at all three levels. They do not grow on trees. Smith Jr., he is one of them. Two shots. And he makes all three. And the first half comes to a close in a tie game. And for 2K Sports, we'll be back here at Paycom Center right after this. Hard to win if you allow your opponent to shoot over 60%. They need to play tight or deep. Stay attached to the shooters. Contest shots. And let's take a glance at... Thanks for spending half...
second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Chad Holmgren has been sensational. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. The question now is will the defense keep letting him punish them inside or did coach have some new ideas for them? The post pair form will be Williams and Holmgren. Josh Giddy is out there with Gilgis Alexander and it's George in at the small forward. And that's who Mark Dagnall starts the second half. Pass to Shengun. Dishes it to Brooks. Van Vliet outside. Five on the clock. And Brooks. Here we go. Wow. Dylan Brooks off the bounce. <laughs> Teammates are loving that. And when you look at Dylan Brooks, he's someone that doesn't mind playing the villain. Yeah, he definitely seems to embrace this villain role, Greg. And look, a guy like that that keeps getting under your skin, that can be a benefit for your team. And there's the call on Lou George. That is his first foul of the game. Tari Eason's checked in for the Rockets. Substitution for the Rockets. And if you're just joining us, we play it over a minute here in the third. And here's Van Vliet from the yard. Oklahoma City's gotten two-thirds of their three-pointers to fall tonight. They're six of nine overall. Not that time, but that's a shot that he's going to make more often times than not. Brooks for three. The Rockets again can't hit. The Thunder have gone two of four here to start the second half. Gilgis Alexander, that's a two-pointer. Holmgren kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Back to Holmgren. Up top, Gilgis Alexander. Six to shoot. Here he goes. Oh, nice job there from Holman. His guys appreciate when they're open, he gets them the ball. And here's Gilgis Alexander outside. And the Thunder, another three. And shooting-wise, he's been fantastic, helping to build this lead. Here's Thompson. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Brooks. 12 points from a man, Thompson. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Holmgren the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Back to Holmgren. Takes the three. It's good for his eighth consecutive basket in only eight tries. Wow. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic. It is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Brooks misses. Oklahoma City leading by eight. Giddy kicks to Holmgren. There he goes again. That's his ninth straight basket. He's a perfect nine for nine. And often players want to discuss calls with the officials, but Greg, what was your approach with those conversations with referees? Okay, well, it, it depended on the conversation. But at the end of the day, you realize they've got a job to do just like you do. And you try to keep it as respectful as possible and yet still be able to get your point across. It's Brooks on the wing, defended by Dorch. Thompson against Kitty. And it's Thompson with the jam. And this one has been all about Amin Thompson, a, a freakish athlete. When he gets rolling, there's just not much a defender can do. And Oklahoma City going with a whole new group out there. Substitution on the floor. 130 left in the third quarter. Wallace outside. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. Rockets trail by six. The drive by Green, and it's Green with the jam. A vicious finish by Green. Boy, Jalen, this man can get up. Here's Joe, and by Green. Williams, a screen on Green. Here's Joe. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. For Houston, they've gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% from the field. The adjustments they've made offensively, they're putting guys in a position now to succeed. But it took them a little while to get there. Just goes to show as long as you persevere, you'll figure your way out. Over in the corner, Williams. Shot clock at six. 
Williams a screen on Boone. Oklahoma City needs to get off the shot. Williams gets the bucket. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Adams outside. Here's Whitmore. He's guarded by Williams. Feeds it to Holiday. Smith on the wing. Back to Holiday. Driving the lane. Plays it up and banks it in. Heads up play by Smith. Giving it away instead of forcing something. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Wiggins. And that's just a risky play. To make a heave like that, not, not worth it. Smith left side over Wiggins and he was able to put it up in time but doesn't fall. That concludes the third quarter. It continues to and a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. That wasn't a better pass in the game. Almost like he had a sixth sense. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. Fourth quarter on the court for the Rockets. We've got Green. Smith is out there with Adams. Then there's Whitmore, and it's Holiday in at the point guard. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Here's Wallace, and he's good on the three ball. And the Thunder lead by three. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. In the modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win games. And they've made that adjustment since the break. Smith dishes to Adams. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, having an easy bucket in the paint. A new lineup here for Houston. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey guys, during the last break, here's what Mark Dagno was telling his team. Now with the game in the balance, coach told his team to play loose. Don't overthink it. We got this far playing our game, and we can win the same way. Back to you guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. Great. Isn't it amazing the way Gilgis Alexander has polished off his game? The footwork, Kevin, is impeccable. Three levels four makes every shot imaginable. And what's scary... This guy still has another level to get to. Rockets trail by three to the inside. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. And great find by Van Vliet. He's in control of this offense and generally makes good decisions. Giddy, no one around him. The shot's good. Gilgis Alexander making the play. Gilgis Alexander's got assist number nine now. Wow, what an effort here tonight. Van Vliet finds Brooks. Houston moving it around. Here's Thompson, and there's the drive. We see this night in and night out. Thompson uses his size and elevation to make tough shots in the paint. Williams passes to Holmgren. Can't hit that one. Rockets have gone an outstanding 4-5 of five from the field in the fourth quarter so far. The pass to Shengun. Brooks with it. Defended by Dort. Shengun with the screen on Dort. Brooks misses. The Thunder with the lead. Near the three-point line. It's Holmgren. Count the basket. Holmgren's got nine points here in the second half. Guys, this is what you call a generational talent. Holmgren is bound to fill up the highlight reel every night he plays. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get the stop and the stretch because that's who's going to come away with this one. And Thompson slams it home. Rocketing off the deck. Thompson showing that youthful exuberance. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Holmgren. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Inside. Nice move. Crafty move. And Holmgren lays it in. Holmgren's got 25 points. Unflappable. I mean, no moment is too big for Holmgren. They needed that basket. 
Drives to the hoop. And the rejection by Holmgren. And they'll keep possession. Eason finds Van Vliet. Out to Thompson. Shot clock at five. Yep, it goes, and the Oklahoma City lead is cut to just one on the basket from Van Vliet. And how about the leadership there from Van Vliet? Ready to put this team on his back and give them that crucial bucket. Here's Holmgren. And the jump by Holmgren. Some guys demand the ball in these situations. Holmgren gets his wish. Brooks against Dort. Brooks, the best is Shengu. Brooks outside. And Shengu throws it down. And his eyes got wide once he got the ball inside. You just know what he's going to do with the basketball. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And there's another one for the Thunder. Some players shrink when the pressure's on, but he lives for these moments. To Van Fleet. To tie it up. Good. A tremendous three to tie it up. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. What a huge play coming through when it matters most. Holmgren sets the screen for Gilgis Alexander. Over in the corner, Dort. And played against Gilgis Alexander. The right thing there to stay that tight on him and, and really try to keep him out of his comfort Yes! And what a shot from Gilgis Alexander. This guy isn't afraid of the moment. Wow. Yes! Exposing the defense and taking advantage in the paint. Here's Holmgren. It's good! Stay cool in a clutch moment. Holmgren not letting his inexperience get the best of him. Here's Shengun. Hands it to force overtime. Holmgren gets the big time shot to fall, folks. And now we're headed to OT. These teams have battled tooth and nail for four quarters, and now we head to overtime. Should be a blast. Dort and Williams up in the forward position. Gilgis Alexander out there with Josh Giddy, And it's Holmgren in at the center. And there's the call on Amen Thompson. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Gilgis Alexander finds Holmgren at three off the mark. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Oh, going high to throw that one down. Sky high. Fantastic one-hand jam. Passes to Giddy. Back to Williams. Dort with a screen for Williams. And a miss there on the triple. Houston in the lead. Thompson outside. To the paint. Here's Shengun. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Guys, just ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. To the middle. Here's Hungry. Williams kicks to Dort. Holmgren with a screen on green. Giddy goes in. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. Well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. When he has enough space, he's more than comfortable letting it fly from outside. That is not the shot they needed there. You've got to work it around and get a better look. Here's Green. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. 
Got one on Gilgis Alexander. You can tell Green is fearless on the floor, going right into the defender with his shot. And so both free throws are good. And it's a seven-point game. Taking full advantage of his opportunities at the line to extend their lead. Master Williams. Thompson against Gilgis Alexander. The three, Holmgren. Wow, through the contact, and that three almost went in, so he'll go to the line for three free throws. And, and Holmgren possesses sky-high potential in his length and versatility, making him such an intriguing prospect. And so he's good in all three free throws, and that shrinks the margin to just four. The lead's not looking as comfortable after those free throws. Nice job. Here's Thompson. And he slams it down right on top of Chet Holmgren. And, and guys, that's not as easy as he made it look. You've got to have some skills to pull that off. Well, he's got plenty of those, yes. that's for sure. Holmgren sets the screen for Gilgis Alexander. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. And stolen by Giddy. The pass to Gilgis Alexander. Wow, came this close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. That one on Thompson. Nearly automatic. Gilgis Alexander, no slouch from the line. The second one drops, and that shrinks the margin to just four. Houston making a switch. Van Vliet's checked in. And that makes it a one-possession game, guys. Got to be the biggest free throws of the game thus far. Driving to the basket. Shangun passes to Green. Smith outside. In the corner, Shangun with it. Like at six. It falls! Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. If you want to be great, you have to have that killer instinct. Gilgis Alexander against Van Vliet. From outside the arc. And they recover it. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. So Houston.
Games ahead, but game one of the regular season is always a little extra special, Grant. Yeah, no question about it. This is a game everyone looks forward to to start the season off. On the right foot. I can't tell you how huge it is for a team's confidence to get a win on opening night, but it's definitely one everyone is looking forward to. And here's the starting group for the New York Knicks. Randall and Robinson of the tandem inside. Dante DiVincenzo out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Ananobi in at the three spot. Now here's DiVincenzo. Robinson passes to DiVincenzo. Three-pointer. DiVincenzo on the wing. There's the drive. Pass to Brunson. Just four to shoot. Oh, persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. Brunson's got five points. Really quick release there from Brunson. Let that one go in a hurry. Giddy against Brunson. Gilgis Alexander, a screen on Brunson. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Fires for three. It's hauled in by Robinson. Robinson's got four rebounds now. Here's DiVincenzo. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. That one on Giddy. For DiVincenzo coming into the league wanting to prove that he belongs. He's done more than that. It's about building his confidence now. And one guy who's instant offense when he's hot, Dante DiVincenzo. Yeah, he can get it going offensively. There are nights where it takes a bit for that to happen because he's an opportunistic scorer. But he's got size out of the backcourt. He's a good athlete, a good shooter, and an even better defender. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Stolen by Ananobi. Randall finds Brunson. And Jalen Brunson gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. And great job to establish position and square up. Joe's checked in for Oklahoma City. The Thunder have gone 0 for 3 for the floor to begin this one. And an Obi against Gilgis Alexander. Looking to win the run. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. Well, we've talked so much about Gilgis Alexander's athleticism. This is the reason why on display. Dort against Ananobi. Pass to Brunson. To the inside. Here's Robinson. Back to Brunson. Five on the clock. From deep. And the Knicks. Another three. Wow. <laughs> Their opponent is doing a tremendous job spacing the floor. Gilgis Alexander from outside. Randall pulls down the board. Now he's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. Here's Williams. The Knicks making their last shot. Drives to the hoop, and Williams punches it home. A bit undersized, his hops make him a legit small ball four. Talking about the New York Knicks, Brent, a team that wants to be seen as a threat again. Yeah, it feels like the New York Knicks are not going to be satisfied until they're playing in the Eastern Conference Finals or have a chance to win an NBA championship. So these steps are nice, but you're really teasing the New York Knicks fans until you have a chance at the title. Controls the rebound and the putback. And this defense needs to turn the screws and ramp up the intensity. They're looking a little loose out there right now. To the paint. Holmgren finds Gilgis Alexander. Back to Holmgren. Shot from the wing. The Knicks with the rebound. Adenobi passes to DiVincenzo. And here's Randall. Williams defending. Boy, that foul looked intentional. Not exactly what you'd expect here. Yeah, I know. It just doesn't make sense, given the situation. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. 
Now here's Robinson. Pass to DiVincenzo. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. You have to be careful. When you're throwing a cross-court pass, you really have to be quick and accurate. From deep, Gilgis Alexander. The long-distance three is buried. Gilgis Alexander's got his second bucket on the night. Here's Brunson. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Defense shaking their heads. No idea how to stop him in this quarter. He's got him on the ropes. Two-second difference between shot and game clock. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Well, his poor shooting is a big reason that they're staring at this deficit right now. He needs to get on track if they're going to find a way to win. And here's Brunson from the arc. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And after just one quarter of... And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Knicks. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. So much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out of great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. So on the floor for the Knicks. They've got Precious Achua. He's out there with Isaiah Hardenstein. Boyan Bogdanovich out there with Alec Burks. And it's McBride in at the point guard position. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. The Thunder are making dramatic improvement. Shea Gilgis Alexander, now an all-star, says they're gaining confidence. He said, quote, we know we're getting better. I think guys are kind of getting addicted to that feeling and continuing to grow. Brian, they could be building something really special here. Yeah, you're right. They could. Skipping no steps either. Thanks, Allie. And here are the Knicks now. After the basket by Oklahoma City. Here's Bogdanovich. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Yeah, you want to run Bogdanovich off the shot, but man, he can also drive it. And very quietly, Boyan Bogdanovich has been really impactful, especially as a scorer break. Well, he's really flown under the radar recently, but this guy can flat out shoot and give you 25 on a nightly basis. He does it in a variety of ways. He's got such good size, and he can get it done on the offensive end. Now here's Bogdanovich. Here's Hartenstein. And the duck to finish it off. A beauty. Good decision there by Bogdanovich. Solid at noticing when the defenses overcommit. Here's Hayward. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And with the surge and scoring around the league, Brent, what's the key to modern NBA defense? Great question, B.A. I mean, you have to have versatility. You have to have coaches that can get creative. And you got to have players who are wanting to buy in on the defensive end. You just cannot give great scorers in this league, as a ton of them, a steady diet of shooting from three. And you got to keep them guessing. Now here's Kitty. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Driving to the basket. Banked it in off the glass. And Giddy is just so clever at finding ways to the rim. Good at ripping through holes in the D. Hardenstein in the post. Working on Williams. Outside Burks. Ooh, power down with both hands. Just great offense. The screen freeing him up for the slam. Hey, without that screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Yeah, why well, he settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that. And down it goes. Two points. It was a rough start for them scoring the ball, but they look like now they're really finding their rhythm and flow. Here's Hardenstein. To the right side. Here's Achua. Pass to McBride. Bogdanovich with it. From the arc. And the Knicks, another three. It took a little bit of time, but now he's taking the pen off the cap and putting his mark on this game. And you look at the Thunder. Talk about a team that's drafted well. well it's hard to see out the window in Oklahoma City with how much they've stockpiled their picks in that front office. 
It's about making good use of them, VA. When are they going to plant a flag in the ground that these are our guys moving forward? They have some young studs. I'm curious about when that time is. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. When the Knicks are good, Brent, it seems like they have that gritty defense first mentality. Yeah, B.A. 94 and 99, those finals teams were so great defensively for the New York Knicks. Kind of taking that in-your-face attitude and bringing it to the court to rough you up. Good recent Knicks teams have had that behind their coaching staff, and it's gotten them back in the right place. Joe's checked in for Giddy. And a switch here also for New York. Brunson's checked in. And even though he couldn't send the shot back at him, he certainly altered it. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Five points in the game. Robinson with the block. Well, the ferociousness that Robinson can have around the rim is impressive. Here's Gilgis Alexander. 15 in his last outing. Pass to Holmgren. Takes the three. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Holmgren's got himself on the board with a three there. Here's DiVincenzo. Great D that time from Holmgren. Oklahoma City's gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. Gilgis Alexander against Brunson. Williams passes to Holmgren, and it's good for two. Holmgren's got five points. And this is where Holmgren is such a scoring threat. His size can make interior shots easier to find. Outside Brunson. Inside goes Brunson. Ooh, coming through again, shooting five for seven now. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Now here's Brunson. He's got 12 to the middle. Outside for Randall. From outside the arc, drops in the three. Randall's got his second bucket of the night. Well, Randall keeping you honest here. Not a knockdown shooter from that range, but is showing more and more that he's capable of doing just so. Gilgis Alexander finds Holmgren. The three. Called in by DiVincenzo. And Jalen Brunson gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. One second left. Can't hit that one. And so it's the New York Knicks up 15 points as this quarter concludes. How about the way they've attacked the paint? This throwback approach is paying off. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. Hey, everybody, it's halftime. Boy, it's been a rough go. They're rolling out the red carpet in the lane, and everybody's on the guest list. They need to call security, tighten it up. You know what, Shaq? You'd be a good bout. And moving along now. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. You look at Jalen Brunson. What a contribution. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. Yeah, just way too easy out there. And I'm sure Coach is going to make that a priority at halftime. In it forward, it's Jordan Williams. Then it's Shea Gilgis Alexander. Then it's Chet Holmgren. And it's Joe in at the two. That's the lineup for Oklahoma City. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Well, the Thunder are still developing, but Shea Gilgis-Alexander embracing his role as a catalyst. He said, quote, I have the opportunity to really build something and be at the forefront of it. That's something I know and embrace every single day, and I maximize it for sure. Brian? Well, you can see it. They're so grateful to have him, too. Thanks, Allie. Now here's Gilgis-Alexander. He's got five. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Defensive foul. 
Jalen Brunson. And the free throw, no good. These strides that SGA has made in the past couple seasons has a lot to do with the kids' work ethic. Back to DiVincenzo. Here's Ananobi. Rejected by Holmgren. And a fast break now for the Thunder. Williams' shot is good. And not wasting any time here. Kicking their offense right back in the gear. That's three of four from the field. The offensive rebound. And there's a three-second violation. All right, let's take a second to view the 2K leaderboard and look at last season's top scoring squads. Fifth on the list, the Thunder. And last year, I liked watching this team operate on the offensive end. The ball movement, the patience, the confidence. You love seeing all that come together. Here's Joe. No made baskets yet. Williams' is screen on DiVincenzo. Joe. Off target from three-point range. New York has gone 0 for 2 from outside here on the third. And Grant, when you scan the OKC roster, you see length at every position. Yeah, it's definitely their philosophy, B.A. We're seeing a number of franchises going that route. What I would say about the Thunder, though, many of their guys still have some strength to add. Williams with the screen. Back to Holmgren. Clock at six. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Gilgis Alexander's got three assists in the game. And it's Randall with the jam. Envision such a key part of Brunson's game as the point. And an Obi against Gilgis Alexander. Out to the right wing. The three from Holmgren. Oh, the Thunder, another three. In full-on catch-up mode. They're raining threes right now. The drive by DiVincenzo. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. So Oklahoma City ends up going with a new group. So New York going with almost an entire new group here. Hardenstein, he's checked in for Robinson. Achua comes in for Julius Randle. Bogdanovich has checked in for Ananobi. And it's McBride in for Jalen Brunson. Now here's Giddy. Pass to Wallace. Here's Williams. Here's the floater. Wallace misses. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That went on Hayward. I like that. Bogdanovich aggressive in the lane, creating his own offense. Burks, he's checked in for DiVincenzo. And so Bogdanovich nails them both. Hey, you look at some of the young star power on OKC. Grant, they haven't had that since the Kevin Durant years. Oh, B.A., I mean, those KD teams were built through the draft. So no matter where they're picking, the Thunder seem to uncover gems. Here's Wallace from Pete Giddy. And again, Oklahoma City with a triple. That's a confident shot from the young guard, Giddy. Loves seeing him be assertive. It's Hartenstein, high post. Back to Bogdanovich. Hartenstein a screen. Pass to Achua. Stolen by Wiggins. And a fast break now for the Thunder. And an intentional foul right there. First personal foul. Second team foul. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Counted from distance. Twelve straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. Burks passes to Achua. He takes it in. Pass to Bogdanovich. Just five to shoot. And then Bogdanovich with the dunk. Nice dribble move from Bogdanovich. I think he surprised even himself there. Oklahoma City has gotten 12 of their points this quarter from deep. Four of six. Giddy against Burks. Here's Wallace. Williams with the screen. Wallace, the pass to Williams. Four on the clock. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Here in the second half, their offense has been strong. Great ball movement, really working well for clean looks. 
Back to Burks. 23 seconds left in the third quarter. This one for three. He drops it from range. Burks has got seven. Here's Giddy. He's got five. The smart play. Wait and take the final shot. Every second right now is valuable to you. That should be their strategy. Pass to Achua. Now Bogdanovich from behind the arc. And the Knicks, another three. And Bogdanovich has been fantastic here tonight using all of his experience to get it done. And so it's New York going into the break up 12. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. Talk about painting a magnificent picture with that guy. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. And on the floor for New York here in the fourth, Achua is out there with Boyan Bogdanovich. Then there's Isaiah Hartenstein. Then there's Alec Burks. And it's McBride in at the point guard position. One of the best shooters in the league, but what impresses me most about Bogdanovich is just how built out the rest of his game is. He's a complete player. And the Knicks making a change here. Robinson, he's checked in for Hartenstein. Julius Randle comes in for Achua. DiVincenzo, he's checked in for Burks. And Brunson is subbed in for McBride. Hey, kept it simple. No reason to get fancy right now, B.A. Yeah, he's just looking to find shots and produce for his team. Now here's Brunson. Back to Randle. Yes, and a nice assist from Brunson. Brunson's got four assists now tonight. Is somebody not alert to block out the wide frame of Julius Randle who gets in there after the loose ball. Here's Wallace. It's Dort on the wing. Into the lane. Sends it down right in his face. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, the big man not going to slow him down from getting that deuce. Now here's DiVincenzo. And here's Brunson from the arc. Yes, sir! Brunson for three. Yeah, not a big part of Brunson's game behind the line, but he can knock him down. Pass to Holmgren. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Now a timeout called by New York. The Knicks making a switch here. And Anobi's checked in. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Hey, guys. Over the last break, I listened to Tom Thibodeau address the team. Despite the lead, Coach was stern with the guys, mentioning to the team, do not let up. I've seen some big comebacks in this league, and this is not over. An interesting message. B.A.? Allie, thank you. I have to admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. Right side, DiVincenzo. Brunson taking his time here. Shoots from the line. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. Ananobi passes to Randall. Pass to DiVincenzo. Here's Ananobi. Back to DiVincenzo. With the teardrop. And he makes it. And the Knicks lead by 13. Oh, man, that's a nice teardrop. I mean, hand out some tissues, why don't you, Dante? If you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. And it's Holmgren missing for New York. They've gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Ananobi. They get the rebound. The kick out to Brunson. DiVincenzo on the wing. Back to Brunson. There's the triple. And Gilgis Alexander with a block. And the wingspan coming into play for SGA. Just getting on top of that one. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. And so Randall will bring it up for New York. At one point.
but they led by 16. Come on, B.A. He sure can rise. Grant, that's as good as it gets. One of the best in the league. Stolen by Ananobi. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Thunder. Looked like a simple play and turned into a turnover. Can't give away possessions like that. Oklahoma City has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Ananobi against Gilgis Alexander. Williams from long range. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Gilgis Alexander's got six assists in the game. Here's Brunson. Holmgren with the block. Wow, I mean, the seven foot six wingspan coming in handy. Holmgren loves swatting away shots just like this. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. Here's Brunson. The Thunder making their last shot. Pass to DiVincenzo. Brunson against Gilgis Alexander. Six to shoot. Brunson passes to Ananobi. Over Dort. New York no good that time either. Oklahoma City's gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. And Williams punches it home. Some heads up ball there from Dort. Don't do anything silly. Just ride out the clock. Yes, if they take their time and execute, the game is all theirs. Now here's Ananobi. For three, DiVincenzo. New York, no good that time either. At this point, it just feels like it's over. You want to keep expending energy, or do you want to start thinking about the next one? Dort outside. On the take. Back to Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander against Brunson. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. Ah, say it with me now. S. G. A. Get it done. And here's Randall.
Sports Doors, this should be a very exciting matchup. And you know, Kev, it feels like we could say that for most matchups these days, right? The league is so heavily laden with talent at the guard position. I feel spoiled. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. Rando will step in at the four with Robinson as the center. Jalen Brunson out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's on an OB in at the three, the small forward. Count that one from Van Vliet. Well, if you think about Fred Van Vliet's handle and his ability to operate at different speeds, you understand how effective he can be on the drive. And how about he takes on the defender head on and then throws down the two handed Guys, nice. straight power there. Straight power. Eason against Randall. And Shingun throws it down. Good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading, always trying to create for others. DiVincenzo kicks to Brunson. Pass to on an open. Goes up on the wing. And Brunson the basket on the assist by Ananobi. What you see is continued improvement in his ability to create for others. Great to see OG Ananobi make the open read. Now here's Van Vliet. Misses the three, and he used the pump fake well there, but he couldn't capitalize. Brunson with a clean look, sinks the triple. Brunson's got his third bucket of the night. Well, the high-valued three-point shot from the corners, Jalen Brunson steps in and knocks it down. Three-pointer, Brooks. It's up, and it's off the mark. He's over one. How about this run, Craig? They're on right now. Wow. I mean, they're just getting to their spots and executing, really keeping things simple. Impressive. Five straight makes. Love the play calling here. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. And here we go with Brooks running it up the court. Kicks it out to Van Vliet. Eason passes to Brooks. Six on the shot clock. Driving in. Eason's shot is good. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. On deep, Brunson. Rockets with the rebound. It's a victory here for the home team. Last time these guys met. And they had to scrape and claw to get the win the last time these two teams went head-to-head. -head. It came down to a few key free throws at the end. Two points. That one goes. Tenacious on the attack. Thompson is fantastic at finding lanes to the basket. Randall kicks to Brunson. Two minutes for me. Two minutes. Pass to Robinson. Ananobi against Brooks. Now the pass to Brunson. Puts it in off the nasty crossover. And 11 points here for Jalen Brunson. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. Now, here's Thompson. He picked up 18 points in their last win against the Clippers in Los Angeles. The other thing I thought was big, guys, was the incredible night he had on the glass. No one wanted any part of him down there. And here's Brunson outside. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. Score it. His third straight basket in three tries. And Thompson letting his athleticism take over there as he was bumped. Here's DiVincenzo. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. It's just too slow to react. You can't afford to sleepwalk through possessions. What's going on out there? Ooh, the one-hand tomahawk, guys. Somebody's going to get their feelings hurt. Yeah, they got the entire bench up right there as they saw that and out of their chairs. Now here's Randall. Passes it to Brunson. From deep, and again, New York with the triple. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. DiVincenzo against Thompson. Shengun with a screen on DiVincenzo. Shengun passes to Thompson. Back to Shengun. 
Here's Van Vliet. Another shot. And Thompson kicks to Van Vliet. Pass to Shengu. Here's Thompson. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And with his movement skills, Thompson routinely catches defenders out of position. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And so Thompson nails both of them. Six seconds left in the first quarter. Burks for three. Jalen Brunson has been on display for the Knicks. He delivered nine points from three. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Knicks? Uh, they've looked to fire as much as possible from outside the arc, and so far they are hitting at a high clip. We've also seen them show a willingness to take advantage of the mid-range opportunities. The defense conceding these looks, and they're cashing in. Here are the five New York has to start here in the second. Achua is out there with Bogdanovich. Then there's Alec Burks, and it's Hartenstein into the center position. Now, here's Achua. Pass to McBride. Burks against Green. Just five to shoot. New York needs to get off a shot. And Adams sends it back. Well, so good at anticipating when shots are going to go up. Steven Adams, terrific protecting the basket. Smith outside. Here's the pass to Adams. And stolen by Achua. On its way from Burks for two. And they cash in right away with the quick shot. Burks has got his first points of the night. You know, Doris looking at Precious Achua. He brings value as a multi-positional defender. Exactly right, Kevin, because he's able to switch comfortably out onto guards. He can rebound against bigs who are bigger than he is. Achua might be undersized, but his athleticism and effort make up for it. And game one of the NBA season, Greg, is here. Does everyone get butterflies, or is it just me? No, I'm, I'm right there with you, partner. It, the anticipation has been brewing for months. Nothing like opening night. And so it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for the Knicks. Fires the three. Offensive rebound. Here's a chew-up. Burks the pass to McBride. Three. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Houston's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Here's Green, and he drives in, and it's Green slamming it down. And one of Green's best assets, his leaping ability. He's a natural athlete, very explosive. And for a power forward, he can sure get up. I mean, because of that leaping ability, it kind of offsets his height disadvantage. Here's Green. The Knicks making the shot. Out to Smith. There's the three. Score of the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Uh, Steven Adams could care less about scoring. In fact, you get the sense he takes more pleasure from passing than scoring. Hartenstein passes to Achua. A nice shot by Hartenstein. Hartenstein's got his first points in this one. And it really has been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And stolen by Achua. You could tell it was almost tunnel vision on that pass. Had no idea where the defender was. Drills the three-pointer. I'll tell you, he'll take that all day, every day. I'm sure he was shocked to find himself that wide open. Holiday, the pass to Adams. Hammers the alley-oop through. Well, the New Zealander shows a little hops on the alley-oop. For New York, they've gone four of six in the field here in the second. To the inside. Some nice passing by New York here. Back to Burks. Here's McBride, guarded by Holiday. Shot clock at six. No one covered. And the Knicks lead by four. 
Well, there's a smooth efficiency to the jump shooting ability of Boyan Bogdanovich. What a knockdown shot. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. New York City remains a basketball mecca. NYC legend and former Nick Mark Jackson always talks up the basketball environment. He says, coming up in New York, it's all about the grit, the grind, the edge, the competitiveness, the swag, the confidence, the struggle, and the embracing of the bright lights. Kevin? Well, it's all there, and it is the biggest stage for sure. David, thanks. Here's Eason. Jalen Brunson picking up that last basket. Shangoon kicks to Van Vliet. Launches a three. A three-pointer is right on target. Van Vliet's got five now. Well, Fred Van Vliet has become a true impact player. This guy remarkably consistent from deep. Out to Brunson. This is it to DiVincenzo. Back to Robinson. And finished off by Robinson. Sees his man has the angle on the interior and drops a dime right there. Pass to Thompson. It's rebounded by New York. 26 seconds left here in the second. Here's DiVincenzo. And he dunks it down. That's just outstanding floor awareness from Jalen Brunson. Doesn't matter if he's at the one or the two. He always makes the right play. And out of bounds as the Knicks gain possession. Fifteen seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Fires from deep. Easton grabs the board. Pass to Van Vliet. Going inside. That drops and it comes off an assist from Brooks. Brooks has got three assists now in this one. Boy, at this size, Fred Van Vliet has to be so crafty on the interior. Defense has nothing for him there. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Knicks lead by five. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. You know, they were crashing the offensive glass, those second chance points that made a big difference. And they played bully ball. You know I like it. All right, fellas, let's take a quick look. Thanks for joining us. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. You know, Jalen Brunson has been exceptional here, guys. Wow. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. Alperin Shangoon out there with Tari Eason. Then there's Dylan Brooks. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. And it's Thompson in at the shooting guard position. And that's the group in there for Ime Udoka as we begin the second half. New York leading by seven. And Ananobi slams it in. Let's remember this is six foot eight with some hops. OG Ananobi with the dunk. Brooks with the bucket. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the New York Knicks. Here's DiVincenzo. Chalk up two there. DiVincenzo's got the lead up to nine now for the Knicks. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. Shangoon finds Eason. Here's Thompson. Defended by DiVincenzo. Inside. Here's Shangoon. And Shangoon throws it down. Beautiful reverse jam right there. Use the rim to protect the ball, I think. The pass to DiVincenzo. From past the arc, that falls. Nice feed that time from Brunson. Brunson's got five assists tonight. Brooks for three. Knocks down the three ball. Brooks has got five points so far. Boy, that's three for four this half. You like that they're starting with a little bit of extra energy. Nice. They don't make many guards, do they? Doris is fiery as Fred Van Vliet. 
They don't, Kevin. He has had to scrap and claw and earn every piece of real estate in the NBA. At six foot one, he's undersized. But what we know unequivocally, he can command an offense, and he's a big time shot maker when it counts. And guess what? He's going to dig it out defensively, too. You have to admire Fred Van Vliet. Here's McBride, stolen by Thompson. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. And this one has been all about Amin Thompson, a, a freakish athlete. When he gets rolling, there's just not much a defender can do. Hartenstein passes to Achua. Bogdanovich, that's for two. Bucket is good. Bogdanovich has got his second bucket of the night. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. And now the first time I've called here for the Rockets. A new lineup here for Houston. And with a moment, let's check out some stats for Bogdanovich. A very nice season for him last year. Put up about 21 points a game, three rebounds, and two assists. He's been nothing short of fantastic during that stretch. Offense coming very easily for him. And so much of it to me is his ability to read the floor, make the right decision, and then go right after the action he wants. Here's Burks. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's on Jalen Green. Love to see Alec Burks get aggressive with the defense. This guy terrific getting the defense to foul him. When it comes to the essential components of a winning team, GA, how much importance do you place on veteran leadership? Kevin, I think it's important. You want a few guys in the locker room who've seen it all. Players who can keep the ship steady if the team kind of goes awry or, or has a tough stretch. Now, Alec Burks is a capable two-way player, active on both ends, never shy about looking for thefts. Here is Holiday. Three right on him. And the call is going to be. Yes, yes, it is. An illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. That one falls. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. That is the competitiveness he brings to the table. Every night you're going to get great effort from him. Well, exposing a weakness in the defense, that's just way too easy, guys. Burks, the pass to Hartenstein. Back to Burks. Now, here's Achua, covered by Smith. Passes to Hartenstein. The Rockets pull it in. Well, they've got some work to do to cut into this lead. And no need to get away from the game plan, though. There's plenty of time to get back in it. Now, here is Holiday. Following the miss by Jabari Smith. Good on the triple. Smith's got six. And he's got confidence to let it go from anywhere beyond the arc, whether it's the corner or up top. Smith makes a defense work. Clearly a foul. The Knicks shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And if we want to take a look back, they converted about 76% from the line. Good on the second free throw. Pockets trail by eight. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Smith outside. Kicks to Adams. Outside, Green. Let's it go from deep. And another three for Houston. Well, those are starting to add up, guys. Of their last five baskets, three have been tripled. It's stolen by Green. A shot by Holiday. Nobody around. And another three for Houston. Not everyone has the green light to take that three in transition, but he does, especially with the defense already set up protecting the paint. And as we finish the third quarter, it's still close. Both teams trading baskets. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. 
and the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Well, we have some elite passing big men in the NBA, and you love that skill. Wow. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. And New York, looking at who they've got. Brando will step in at the four with Robinson as the center. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Ananobi in at the three. Here's Thompson, and it's Thompson with the jam. And he's got rocket ship-like takeoff. Thompson can flat out fly. Here's Ananobi, and Ananobi slams it in. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Brooks, the pass to Eason. Launches it. Brooks misses. The Knicks leading by five. Here's Ananobi, and Ananobi slams it in. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. I'll tell you, we have seen great execution from both teams. Neither one giving an inch here. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Now Jalen Brunson approaches a point guard position as a scorer. And boy, this guy can light you up. And the second free throw, good. Houston's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Takes it inside. And the wide open shot from DiVincenzo. That falls. Nice speed that time from Brunson. Brunson's got assist number eight now on the night. Brooks finds Thompson. Will it go? Oh. You got to be kidding. Rocketing off the deck. Thompson showing that youthful exuberance. Robinson a screen on Van Vliet. Here's Brunson. It's tipped. Rockets trail by nine. Thompson is one of the best pure athletes to come into the league in quite some time. He's fast, and boy, can he fly. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Knicks. Their fast break plays have seen unstoppable. They just keep finding ways to overrun the defense here in transition. I think one of the things that also strikes me is their activity forcing turnovers coming up with steals. It has really shaped the tenor of this game. Jabari Smith, he's jacked in for the Rockets. A yeah, strong finish from Jalen Brunson. This guy seems to embrace and love contact. Smith wide open, he fired. It's good from long range. You know, we talk all the time about how important it is to have bigs who can stretch the floor. An example there. On the wing, Ananobi. Pass to Brunson. Back to Randall. Oh, and he misses the dunk. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. Six-point game. Brooks kicks to Van Vliet. Pass to Smith. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. For three. It's rebounded by New York. They've held a 12-point lead early. Brunson with it. Picked up by Van Vliet. And Brunson, here we go. And he banks in the lane. Brunson's got 26 points. Boy, whenever this team has needed a bucket, Jalen Brunson has been there right now in complete command of this ball game. Drains it from beyond the arc. Playing with confidence. Smith wants to be a guy that this team can rely on. Randall is screen on Van Vliet. Brunson outside for Randall. It's taken away by Smith. the pass to Shengun. Shengun with the screen for Smith. Driving inside. And Smith with the stuff. And a big moment right there for Smith Jr. How about the poise in the clutch? Down low. Here's Robinson. A screen dunk by Robinson. 
Nice there, getting the reverse. Love that. And, and the fans got a little bit of a show there. Guys, that one definitely had a little something extra on it. For three, Smith. Robinson pulls it in. Simply put, a bad shot, guys. They all know they can get a better look than that. Runs in the pass for Robinson. He kicks it to Randall. Back to Robinson. That's tipped. And looking for a very quick shot here. You've got to run a play that's a quick strike. You've got to immediately foul after that. And so it's New York with it, leading by five. Brunson the pass to Randall. Back to Brunson. There's the three. Doesn't go for him. From the wing. Smith kicks to Thompson. Fires the three. He can't get that one to fall. And so it's...
Graham and front row seats to watch it. You know, B.A., they're going to be stuffing that highlight reel all night. I mean, you can feel the energy in this place. The crowd is definitely ready for it. All right, let's check out the starting group for the Thunder. In at forward, it's Dordan Williams. Then it's Chet Holmgren. Then it's Shea Gilgis Alexander. And it's Joe in a shooting guard. The defense gives Shea all their attention, and that leaves another guy open and ready to score. And the slam dunk by Thompson. Just an incredible display of power. He attacked the rim with both hands. Most definitely, that was a thunder dunk. Wow. Yeah, for sure. That was a take no chances, take no prisoner slam right there, guys. Here's Shangun following the bucket by the thunder. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. They get it back. Shangun passes to Van Vliet. Brooks from outside. And a great assist by Van Vliet as that one goes. And you got to at least honor Brooks' three-point shot if you're the defense. I mean, he is more than capable of connecting. Dort for three. Knocks down the triple. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. And the Rockets hit again from deep. And three for four to start, showing some rhythm. Wow, the kid from Turkey, Alperin Shengu. Clark, he's really figuring it out quickly. He sure is, B.A. I mean, scoring has not been a problem for Shengu. A bit undersized as a center, but he's found a way to beat teams with his quickness. And it's all about utilizing your strengths. And the sooner you figure that out, the better off you are. And that's out of bounds. Oklahoma City will keep it. Houston on D. Joe, the pass to Holmgren. Puts up a three. Nails it from beyond the arc. They've really come out swinging, hitting four of their first five shots. Pass to Shangun. Shangun, a screen on Dort. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Sinks it from distance. And you gotta love the fire Van Vliet plays with, coming right back with his own three. Here's Holmgren. Let's it go. Again, Oklahoma City. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now here's Van Vliet. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. He's giving his all, but you can't force yourself back on track. Some room here for Dort. And it's Oklahoma City scoring again. Not afraid to shoot. Dort has become more confident in his jumper, and you see why. Shangun passes to Eason. Three-pointer Van Vliet. It falls. He's now two of five from the field. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. And Gilgis Alexander. Here we go. Stolen by Thompson. Here's the break. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Another three from Houston. 12 straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. You know, they're having free reign from beyond the arc. The defense is just not there. I know it's early, but you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. High octane action for sure. Crowd pleasing already. It's Dort on the wing. Holmgren finds Gilgis Alexander. Here's Joe, guarded by Van Vliet. Right wing. The shot from 20 feet out. Oh, the Thunder tack on two more. Yeah, it's just too easy for Holmgren. Man, is he fun to watch operate off the catch? Let's it go from the wing. Pass to Shengu. The three ball. And it's Shea Gilgis Alexander with the rebound. Holmgren with it. Big finish by Holmgren. And just shredding apart the defense with his passing. He's helping to pace this offense so well. You know, numbers don't always tell the story, guys, but his assist totals do paint the picture here. I mean, he's got everybody involved. And you'd like to go two for one here, Grant. And at the same time, you want to get a good shot here, B.A. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. Hey, they've got a nice, comfortable lead here, fellas. Might as well... Keep it simple. Do it a plain, 
simple one-hander, just like pound cake. And he's single-handedly trying to keep them alive. Terrific scoring quarter. Will it be enough, though? Seven-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Oh, so much size. Holmgren barely has to jump. Van Vliet scanning the floor. Misses the jumper. Hey, sometimes the best looks don't equate to points. Plenty of offense in this closely contested first quarter of play. It's the Thunder. Some good action already in this one. But a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for Oklahoma City. Their chemistry. That's what really stood out so far in this one to me. Look at the number of assists they've been able to rack up so far. And on top of that, they've been dialed in from deep. And if they keep it up, it could be a big night for them. Steven Adams out there with Jabari Smith. Then it's Jalen Green. Then there's Whitmore. And it's Holiday in at the one. That's the five for Houston right now. You know, for my money, Josh Giddy is one of the most entertaining players in the league, Grant. Yeah, he has superb vision in the open floor, B.A. Reads the angles and sees how plays develop with ease. His teammates have to be ready for a pass from Giddy at all times. Out to Hayward. Wiggins outside. 4-3. Got a hand on it. Outstanding defensive awareness that time from Smith Jr. Excellent job wiping that shot away. I just love the aggressive finish. I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. Wiggins passes to Williams. Up again. It's good on the putback. Wiggins got his first points of the game. These defenders really need to man up, particularly in the lane. Back to Holiday. Pass to Whitmore. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. And the NBA doing what they could to get rid of the take foul recently. Grant, it seems like a success. Absolutely. It's been a huge success. Fast breaks feel fast again. And penalizing take fouls has made the game much, much better. In addition to skill set, most rookies need to adjust physically to the NBA. Not Whitmore. He's got grown man strength. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Now here's Wiggins. Drops in the three. Wiggins. Wiggins got five points now this quarter. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. And on the offensive end, this is how Adams hurts you. You have to be aware of where he is at all times. Wallace, the pass to Williams. Driving inside. The shot's good. Williams has gotten his first bucket of the night. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Now here's Smith. 15 in his last outing. Outside, green. Green's feeling it at the arc. No wasted motion or hesitation there. Green ready to shoot as soon as he caught it. Here's Wallace. He's covered by Holiday. Williams, a screen on Holiday. Pass to Williams. The 17-footer. Yes, on the jumper. Williams has got his second basket. No idea what they were thinking there defensively. I mean, that's a shot he makes off. Smith, no good. This has been a tough quarter for him in a challenging game for this team. Wallace, the pass to Hayward. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And now it's a nine-point Thunder lead. You know, he may not be the biggest, most physical guy, but Hayward can score inside with the best of them because he's strong enough 
and he's really crafty. Because of the clear height advantage, he gets the shot he's looking for. Wiggins for three. Tipped. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Smith. And there's a minute 45 left in the first half of basketball. Oh, it's stolen by Adams. Green with the ball. And it's Giddy picking him up. Smith outside. Three-pointer. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. And now just a three-point Oklahoma City lead. Down low. Here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. With the explosive leaping ability, he's able to play center despite being undersized. It's Holiday with a drive. For three, Smith. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Williams has got four rebounds now. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. And the Rockets with possession here. After the basket by Oklahoma City. Really left him alone that time. Smith's got 11 here in the quarter alone. That's three in a row from out there now, so they've got to do a better job contesting. Pass to Williams from the corner. And there's another one for the Thunder. Their offense is really humming right now, and it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive, and it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. Now here's Holiday. He's scoreless for three. Smith. Here's Whitmore. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. An impressive athlete. This rookie Whitmore loves getting inside and hammering it home. Wiggins passes to Hayward. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Hayward's gotten his third basket of the night. And the defense no factor which is why he simply laid it in. Here's Smith. And no good. Trying to get that one to fall. And so we've reached the end of the first half of play. Thunder out in front. They're up by six. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out there for the start of the third quarter, right after the break. Well, uh, they're lucky to be in this. They have no energy at all on the defensive end we know and switching things up just a bit let's look at thanks for tuning in and we've got second half action for you thus far a pretty evenly contested game Chet Holmgren with a strong contribution so far in this one through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of. And on the floor for Mark Dagnall starting the second half. Inside, we got Williams and Holmgren. Then it's Shea Gilgis Alexander. Then there's Lou Dort. And it's Joe in at the two. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. So Dort's got seven points in the game. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding pass. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Yeah, no question Van Vliet was going to find his man. He has excellent court vision. Giltis Alexander, double team. Holmgren, the pass to Giltis Alexander. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Yeah, what's special about Gilgis Alexander is how shifty he is, which also makes it so tough on defenses. Thompson against Gilgis Alexander. Shingun drills it from deep. He's got 11. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Yeah, and they either have been unwilling or unable to take that shot away. Defenders just clearing out, and Gilgis Alexander came in with a purpose. Pass to Shangun. Back to Thompson. Oh, and then jam by Thompson. 
That's unreal. I mean, Thompson, that boy's going to hit his head on the rim one day. Oh. Gilgis Alexander punches it home. And he just driving the stake in him there. He's a guy who just never lets up. And that's terribly demoralizing for a defense, guys. I mean, they know he's going to keep coming and coming and coming and that they may not have an answer for it. Here's Gilgis Alexander. After the Rockets picked up a basket a moment ago. Here's Holmgren with the drive. Count it. And the Thunder lead by eight. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. Rejected by Holmgren. And you can't forget about Holmgren's reach, especially when he's nearby on defense. Oh, love the intensity in which they're hitting the boards. Guys, that's been the key to their lead. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Well, debating the best players ever, there are different criteria. The Hall of Famer Dr. J said, quote, I think ultimately you have to have that crowning moment where you're a champion, and it's difficult. Sometimes it takes experiencing the loss and figuring it out before you can be successful. It's nothing you can assume or take for granted. Well, he got his at 83. Thanks, Allie. You know, we talk about the value of size out of the backcourt, and that sequence by Thompson is a great example. And it's a completely new group for the Rockets. First and second chance points, and they were solid in the steals category. Top 15, a team you couldn't fall asleep against when handling the Rock. And you mentioned they were the best team in the league when it comes to second chance points. Hustle was in their team DNA. An all-star back in 2017. Gordon Hayward remains a quality player, Clark. Yeah, you know, because of his versatility, I think it allows him to still be a high-level player, even now that he's not as ball dominant as he was in Utah. He still contributes and does so effectively. And, you know, there's no question about it. Hayward is an exciting player and an athletic forward who can really, really score. This is intelligent basketball. Forcing a turnover and then immediately starting the fast break. Outside, Green gets the three ball to go. Green's got six. Hey, this team has great confidence in Green's ability to connect from deep. It's really about getting him quality looks. Wallace misses. For Houston, they've gone seven of ten here in the second half. Pass to Whitmore. And here is Green. Smith fires the three Adams the pass to Smith and here's Green from the arc Smith great positioning on the putback and it's now only a five point Oklahoma City lead effort paying off for Smith able to get in there and find the second chance shot their interior D continues to look shaky not a good matchup for them right now. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they had. And that was good. Smith's gotten four this quarter. Well, there's so much that Smith Jr. does well when he's on the floor. You can see what's possible when it all comes together. Pass to Williams. Green against Giddy. Williams, a screen on Green. Here's Giddy. Here he goes. And he goes up strong with a one-handed jam. Now that's how you use the screen right there. And it leads to a thunderous finish. That was nice. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. And it's Giddy off the drive, rebounded by Green. Yeah, we're not used to seeing him get bottled up like that. Wow. Going inside. Elite athleticism on display there. Smith showing you off the bounce he can get it done. And at the close of the third quarter, still a close game, both teams. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights. 
We've reached the fourth quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. Tari Eason is out there with Alperon Shangun. Then it's Dylan Brooks. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. And it's Thompson in at the point. That's the five for Houston right now. And the big finish by Holmgren. And we're seeing the full potential of Holmgren. Any questions about whether he's NBA ready are being answered right here tonight. Shangun with it. And it's Dort picking him up. And Shangun gets it to go. And what a comeback. Do they have enough left to maintain this energy and get the win? I did not think they had enough clock to get all the way back. But here they are. And now they've got to feel like they're in control of this thing. Oh, and the jam by Thompson. That is Thompson's game. Rocking the rim and giving his team some energy. And you love to see the aggressiveness. Using the height advantage to hammer it home. Now here's Van Vliet. Eason, pass to Van Vliet. Inside. Here's Shangun. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Houston. Well, you know, their offensive rebounding throughout this one has been clutch, timely. I mean, this kept the ball out of the enemy's hands and got him lots of second-chance points. That's a winning recipe. And we also got to talk about the number of points they've scored in transition, just jumping all over the opposition in this regard. He clipped the ball there, but not enough to nab the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. He'll just Alexander from outside. Brooks with the rebound. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Pass to Shengu. To the middle. The Thunder pull it in. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And, guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Holmgren. The kick out to Williams. And there's the call on Tari Eason. That's his first foul. First team foul. Gilgis Alexander attacking. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. And this is Shea's game. Attack, get to the rim, and finish. The kick out to Van Vliet. And stolen by Holmgren. Williams in the post. He's against Easton. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Okay, hello. SGA with the hammer. Oh, obviously Gilgis Alexander has the will to win. What a relentless effort. Here's Shangun. Hits the layup after the sweet pump fake to freeze the D. shangun has got 10 points now, just in this quarter. Gilgis Alexander against Thompson. Pass to Holmgren. Let's it go from deep. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Gilgis Alexander's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. And here's Van Vliet. He'll bring it up for the Rockets. They trail by one. The three is up. The shot comes out. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets yanked soon. I mean, that's how bad his shot selection has been. Dort, the pass to Holmgren. And there's the call on Tari Eason. That's foul number two for him. And the Rockets making a change here. Green is checked in. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. Williams from long range. The Rockets pull it in. Left side, Green. To the inside. Eason finds Brooks. Screen by Eason. And down it goes. Jam that one home. And that's a gigantic shot from Brooks. His teammates knows he wants to come up clutch. And he did. The offensive rebound. From deep, Gilgis Alexander. Shot's no good there. Now six for eight. Dort against Brooks. Takes it inside. Pass to Shengu. Outside Eason. Yeah, just an excellent shot blocker. Holmgren is so good at using his length and timing to a race shot attempt. And they get it back. And it's in. 
36 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Green. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It is. I mean, no reason to back off from giving the layup. Much better off making him go to the line. And these are the moments Green loves. He believes in his ability to come up big. And he doesn't let the pressure get to him. Cool and confident from the line. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Yes! It's been great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game. Yes. Cold-blooded shot in the clutch. And a big moment right there from Jalen Green. Holmgren with a screen on Thompson. It falls! No fear in the eyes of Gilgis Alexander. His guys believe in his ability to come up big. Pass to Shangun. And here's Brooks. Dort defending. Left side Eason. It's good! This team looks to him to score the ball. They feel good when he's taking the shots. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. All right, guys, what do you think? They've got just enough time for a catch and shoot, but it needs to be immediate. Here's Gilgis Alexander.
hours here. Day one of the regular season is upon us, and we are ready to go. Kevin, really stoked to be with you here tonight. You could not ask for a better matchup. The energy is palpable, and it's fair to expect both of these teams... ...are going to bring it. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. Dort and Williams up in the forward positions. Gilgis Alexander out there with Wallace. And it's Holmgren in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now, guys don't want to guard someone like Jalen Brunson. He just keeps coming. Dort finds Holmgren. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Brunson against Gilgis Alexander. And that's a foul called on Shea Gilgis Alexander. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Gilgis Alexander against Brunson. And that's the kind of in-your-face defense that's setting the tone for SGA and the rest of this team. Here's Wallace. Holmgren kicks to Wallace. Williams sets a screen for Wallace. Outside Williams. Holmgren against Robinson. Just five on the clock. Here's Gilgis Alexander. It's rebounded by New York. They're looking for a little bit of redemption in this one after the loss to them here last time. Yeah, you, you can see they were pressing in that one, and the shooting percentages dipped because of it. Yeah, I'll say anytime you're having trouble getting over that 40% field goal mark, it's probably not going to be your night. And how can you not love the game? of SGA. I mean, a young guard who continues to get better. Yeah, Greg, all the reports you get out of OKC is that this kid is a worker, and he has turned himself into an all-star with that kind of work ethic. Brunson, good. Oh, wow. Brunson just getting sideswiped there and some strength to get through it. Ananobi against Gilgis Alexander. Here's Holmgren. He had 13 points in the win against Dallas. Holmgren with a screen on Brunson. Dort. Back to Holmgren. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Tries again. Shoots from the block. Fires from deep. That one's not going to go. Good D by Ananobi. And the foul is called. He intentionally grabbed him there for some reason. I don't know. Kevin, and Kevin, all I can think of is that he's trying to slow the game down a little bit. Right. That's a stretch, though. Definitely a strange move on his part. I'm not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. Gilgis Alexander, a screen on Robinson. They get it back. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Bangs home the trifecta. Gilgis Alexander's got eight. Oh, nice job there from Holgram. His guys appreciate when they're open, he gets them the ball. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Thunder. Well, they haven't wasted any time getting into a groove from deep. Putting up and hitting a healthy amount of three-pointers thus far. Let's make sure that that selfish nerve doesn't get tapped because right now there's great ball movement. They're setting each other up. Let's see if that maintains. Nobody near William misses the three. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. And to the surprise of many, the Oklahoma City Thunder Brent made the 2023 play-in tournament. Yeah, obviously they didn't have their top draft choice playing because of injury. And a lot of teams out there and the general public felt this team's really going to struggle this year. But they made the play-in tournament and showed a lot of improvement. So the future bright in OKC. Here's Holmgren. Following the basket by Julius Randle. Oh, the long strides of Holmgren on display. This is why you can't give him the lane. Brunson the pass to Robinson. Back to Brunson. We've got 118 left in the first quarter of the game. DiVincenzo finds Ananobi. Brunson the pass to DiVincenzo. Let's it go with the three. Gilgis Alexander pulls it in. 
The Thunder leading by five on the wing. Wallace, the three. Robinson pulls it in. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the Knicks. And the powerful one-handed slam. And some shifting this from Dante that time with the ball. Gilgis Alexander against Ananobi. Passes it to Wallace. For the three, Holmgren. Banked in off the glass. Holmgren's got seven points. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. A three for DiVincenzo. And Holmgren pulls it down. Holmgren's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Just two seconds between shot clock and game. And the dunk by Holmgren. Well, a solid facilitator. It helps that the defense thinks that Jay Gilgis Alexander is going to shoot and not pass. Trains the three-pointer. He has seven. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around. Keep it moving. Try to get an assist on every bucket. And there's Holmgren. That's good. On the assist by Gilgis Alexander. And great job from Holmgren. I, I like when he shows confidence attacking inside. Puts up a deep three. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's Chet Holmgren making things happen for the Oklahoma... And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. What stands out to you from Oklahoma City in this one? Just stretching out the floor in that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. Pretty prime example here of how to space the floor and do it correctly. When you do it, that's the kind of thing that happens. So the Thunder Five right now, they've got Josh Giddy. Williams is out there with Wiggins, and it's Hayward. And it's Joe in at the point. And it's Wiggins missing. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. It's just a flat-out miss. Well, you can't give Bogdanovich a lane to the rim. He takes off towards the rim and then just throws that one down with force. Now here's Giddy. He points his last outing. To the paint. And that one's good. Wiggins. Wiggins has got his first basket. Now, there are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Here's the screen. Bogdanovich with it. Now defended by Wiggins. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. Over Hayward. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And watching Boyan Bogdanovich is, is just so fun. Must be great to be his teammate. Yeah, he's got so much skill, and he's one of the more dependable players on the floor. He rebounds, he shoots at a high level, he plays with heart. Whether it's banging down low or shooting from three, this guy makes contributions. Now here's Williams. Nine points last game, and it's Wiggins missing. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. A dunk by Achua. Good decision there by Bogdanovich. Solid at noticing when the defenses overcommit. And Wiggins throws it down. Go into the rack with energy. And the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. Now there's some ways to get your coach's attention, and that draws the coaching staff's ire. And the Knicks with possession here. The Thunder making the shot. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Out to Hayward. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. In a moment here to check out the stats for Hayward. He had a strong showing last season. Last season, put up about 14 points a game. Four assists and four rebounds. And he's done his share of the work for the team, definitely making an impact. Well, the numbers, if you look at them, impressive all the way around, and he's not letting the team down. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thank you, Kevin. You know, Jalen Brunson, for the NBA at least, is small in stature. But his tremendous footwork enables him to operate inside and out. 
He says, I've tried to make my game for what I had as versatile as possible. I've got to be crafty. I'm not jumping out of the gym. I'm not racing down the floor in two seconds. But I'm going to keep you off balance. Kevin? Oh, I love his game. David, I know you do as well. Hey, thank you. Frank, you look at the size of some of these point guards now. Magic Johnson would feel right at home. Yeah, it's a part of a larger trend with all the switching defensively. If you have just one smaller guy on the floor, he is going to get targeted. Now, here's Burks. Ajua, no good. We've got 148 left in the first half of the game. Inside, here's Wiggins. Up and in on the layup. Wiggins has got it all tied up now for the Thunder. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich has got eight points. A much better quarter for them shooting the ball. A three-pointer. Wiggins. It's rebounded by New York. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. A shot's good from Achua. Achua's got the lead up to four now for New York. Oh, great ball movement there. Pass to Giddy. He's looking for Wiggins and finds him. And stolen by Bogdanovich. Shoots the three. And McBride gets it to go. And it's a seven-point mixed lead. Boy, have they gotten hot here in the second quarter. No wonder they're in front. So New York ends up going with the new group. And a chance now to take a look at some numbers for Brunson. Great showing for him last season. And amongst the league's top-tier scorers, top 20 in points per game. And who could defend him last season out there? Defenders tried to body him up, play a little physical. But time and time again, he drilled the three anyway. That's just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Wallace kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Brunson the pass to Randall. Back to Brunson. That's in. Coming off an assist from Randall. Six points here for Jalen Brunson. And since the first quarter, we've seen them ease off on that long-range affair. And frankly, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, take your time. You don't give them another possession. Yeah, hopefully that's what they'll do here. It's what most teams try to execute at this time in the game. Even Shenzo can't hit it. And that does it for the first half of play. New York ahead, up by six. And now let's kick. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. Well, you appreciate their efficiency, finding their shots, then making them count. I will say, though, the defense they were facing... A and now let's take a moment. And that concludes halftime. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Chad Holmgren has been sensational. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. Randall will step in at the four with Robinson as the center. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Ananobi in at the three spot. So that's who Tom Thibodeau starts the second half with. Waltz, an absolute bomb from three-point range. Shouldering more and more of the offensive load. SGA understands that his teammates just they depend on him to set them up too. Pass to Brunson. To the middle. Outside for Robinson. To the inside. Five to shoot. Randall with the bucket. Randall's got his second basket. And defensively, they're on their heels. 
every time the ball comes inside. Now here's Holmgren from the arc. Off the mark, only a second miss in seven attempts. Ananobi passes to Randall. And that's a foul called on Shea Gilgis Alexander. That's foul number two for him. First team foul. Robinson kicks to DiVincenzo from outside the arc. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Holmgren's got six rebounds here tonight. Wallace misses. The Knicks leading by five. Now DiVincenzo. Seven points in the game. Here's Randall. And Randall throws it down. How about that? The big man, Mitchell Robinson, able to find a teammate. Gilgis Alexander against Ananobi. The shot's good from Gilgis Alexander. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Even Genzo finds Brunson. Some nice passing by New York here. Even Genzo gets the bucket. Even Genzo's got the lead up to seven now for New York. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Jort against Brunson. Holmgren sets the screen for Jort. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's on Jalen Brunson. And the defender went for it. The pump fake from Dort got him out of position. He draws a shooting foul. So both teams changing it up here. McBride passes to Achua. Here he goes. Excellent D there from Williams. Thunder trailing by six. Guys love playing with Kenrich Williams. Teammates rave about this young man. Well, Greg, how difficult is it for GMs and coaches to find players like this who are just willing to accept any minute and any role that they're given? This guy just doesn't lack for hustle. They don't call him Kenny Hustle for nothing. Achua, the pass to McBride. Uses the glass to finish the lane. McBride's got seven points in the game. That kind of looks like a predictable shot, one that they want. The defense has to prevent the ball from getting into that sweet spot. Here's Burks with the drive. With this pause in the action, let's show you the teams that have scored the most points in the league last season. Fifth on the list, the Thunder. I just love how this team attacked their opponents. You can see their confidence grow as the year went on, and the points really started to pile up. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Oklahoma City. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Takes a three. Joe good. Joe's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. That's pretty much not how they want to defend the three-point line. Somebody's got to shadow him out there. And that one drops. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row. Oh, Josh Giddy showing you he can get up. The Knicks leading by six. He takes it in. Burks' shot is good. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Wiggins, that's a screen for Williams. And the Thunder, another three. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. The Knicks have gone six and nine from the floor here in the second half. They've got to be happy with that. The pass to McBride. Passes it to Bogdanovich. Six to shoot. New York needs to get off a shot. On its way from Burks for two. Got it off in time and beat the shot clock, but it's no good. Wiggins passes to Joe. There's the triple. And it's Wiggins missing. Here's McBride. Wide open. And it's good. Two points. 
And the Knicks lead by seven. Now he shot a lower than average volume here tonight, but his efficiency doing it has helped the team build the lead. And so it's the New York Knicks heading to the bench with a seven-point lead. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feat. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. So for Oklahoma City right now, Williams is out there with Wiggins, and it's Hayward. Then it's Josh Giddy, and it's Joe in at point guard. Achua, the pass to McBride. Back to Achua. To the wing on the left. Pulls it up. And McBride gets it to go. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Here's Giddy. And the layup's good off the glass. And that energy behind Giddy's drive helping him get it done. New York leading by five. There's the drive. Pass to McBride. Giddy against Burks. Pass to McBride. Back to Bogdanovich. Takes the three. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. Stretching the floor now. Bogdanovich can hurt defenses from there. And the Thunder going with a whole new group out there. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Mark Dagnall talking to his team during the break. He said in the huddle, you got to play some defense in the paint. They're getting too much in there. Battle down low. Time to fight, guys. Thank you, David. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for the Knicks. Ananobi against Wallace. And here's Brunson outside. And the Knicks hit again from deep. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Holmgren. Here's Wallace. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's on Mitchell Robinson. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Knicks. And they've been in the zone for mid-range all game long, and, and they've made the most of any chance they've found in that space. We probably have to touch on as well that tonight their penetration has been awesome. I mean, they put force on this game attacking off the bounce and a willingness to do that has paid off. It's stolen by Dort. Oh, and here comes Gilgis Alexander all alone. Uh, Dort with great hands there, just looking to pick a pocket or two, and he jumps all over. The Knicks leading by seven. Brunson kicks to DiVincenzo. Out to Brunson. And there's the pass to Ananope. Nope. Back to Brunson. Crosses over. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That one on Gilgis Alexander. Brunson using that tremendous footwork to keep the defense guessing. And so he hits both. A great player on a great role at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Holmgren wide open. The shot's good. Gilgis Alexander making the play. Gilgis Alexander's got assist number five here tonight. Pass to Rice. New York moving the ball around. Steven Chenzo passes to Brunson. 18 feet away, and he knocks it down. Brunson's got seven points for the quarter. As much as you like Jalen Brunson, he believes in himself more than you do. Confidence translates. And they go to the intentional foul. You're not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. 
And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Great job of just reading the defense by Holmgren. He just gets it. The Knicks leading by seven. Here's Randall. Robinson kicks to Randall. Brunson surveying the D. Count it. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Randall from outside. And again, New York with the triple. And there's no doubt about this one. Playing with a lot of confidence tonight. It's a statement victory for New York. You know, a team can have a great shooting night without getting a lot of assists, but tonight they had both. Yeah, and listen, you only get the assist if the guy you give it to makes the shot. So a lot of assists will up your field goal percentage. But this is a great team effort by everyone. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And it looks like they're going to spare themselves the embarrassment of being swept in the season series by winning this last one. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And, and look at the stats. Just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Jalen Brunson. Just does a great job of looking for space and then finding it. That's taking advantage of what the defense is giving you. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. And looking at that replay again, just a big-time block right there. And the sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Gilgis Alexander against Brunson.
NBA. What a feeling. Richard, what stood out to you about your first NBA game with the Nets? Look, I'm not going to brag and all, but did I come off the bench and get 12 points? Yes. Did we win the game? Yes. So, look, it was a good start for me, a humble beginning, but yeah, it was that, that's what stood out to me. I got double digits and we won. Now the starting group for the Houston Rockets. They've got Tari Eason, Fred Van Vliet out there with Thompson. Then there's Alperon Shangoon, and it's Brooks in a small forward. First team DiVincenzo on the wing. Thompson with a steal. Good instincts to read the path and get in a position to pick it off. And so Randall will bring it up for the Knicks. And Dante DiVincenzo is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. Three-pointer Van Vliet. And he buries his first look. And this is what Van Vliet is known for. A volume three-point gunner who shoots it well. And here's Brunson from the arc. Offensive rebound. Kicks it out to Ananobi. Robinson passes to DiVincenzo. Shot clock at five. With some arc. And there's a nice layup by Robinson. Such a graceful move. Showing off the floater game. Goes up on the wing. No good. A bit long that time. New York with the ball. Fires from the wing. Missed it. Now 0 for 1 on this game. That's a decent look for him. He just couldn't convert. He goes up. It's Eason with the jam. Already an intelligent playmaker, Thompson moves the ball well for a rookie. Randall, the pass to DiVincenzo. Fires from deep. The Rockets pull it in. On the wing, Thompson. Back to Eason. Randall with a steal. And here's the fast break. And here's Brunson from the arc. Pure from three-point range. Pretty much the second Brunson gets the ball, he's into motion, and that's how it's done. And Richard Shingun has really been impressive. A big who does a little bit of everything. Well, his passing is what's really fantastic, B.A. He pulls off dimes most guards wouldn't even consider attempting. He's a player that a lot of people should start paying attention to. Such confidence as a passer. He hits guys in stride and makes it look easy. Here's Brooks driving in, and the layup falls. Ooh, he's gone one to four to start the game. Uh, looking to step it up. Pass to Robinson. Brunson against Van Vliet. Outside Ananobi. Outside Brunson. And again, New York with the triple. You know, some threes look better than others, and Brunson's lefty stroke from three is a beautiful thing. Shangun passes to Van Vliet. Let's the three fly, and the call over the back. Just a little too eager for that rebound. As a result, gets called for the over the back. You have to know your positioning and where the opposition is on the floor. The Knicks with the lead. Down low. Here's Randall. Oh, a special move before that shot. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Shangun with it, and it's Ananobi picking him up. Brooks from outside. The Knicks with the rebound. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Rockets. That one was in Houston. And obviously the whistles weren't in their favor the last time these teams met, and it cost them. 1.43 left to play in the first. Robinson finds Randall. Outside Ananobi. To the paint. Stolen by Van Vliet. The defense had the pass well anticipated. They know the offense wants to get that ball inside. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. We know mistakes lead to breaks. That's just textbook right there. Brunson with a sixth sense. I mean, always knows where his teammates are. Eason, pass to Thompson. Eason, a screen on DiVincenzo. Back to Eason. Launches a three. And Ananobi pulls it down. And so Ananobi will bring it up for the Knicks. Leading by five. 
Nice shot by DiVincenzo. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. To the inside, Eason. It's Eason with the jam. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. And a bit of a battle on, for the ball. Go on, go on, go on. And the officials signal a jump ball here. Jump ball. Fast break. Here come the Rockets. Here's Thompson. And Ananobi pulls it down. Outside Brunson. This one for three. Pass to Randall. With the drive. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Smart play from Randall. Uses his physical ability to drive inside and make trouble for the defense. Both shots good from the strike. The Rockets trail. Smith left side. Let's go with a three. Hartenstein pulls it in. Right side, Bogdanovich. And then Bogdanovich with the dunk. Yeah, good take from Bogdanovich. Knowing when to exploit the defense on the drive. The three, Smith. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. And so it's the New York Knicks with a not. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. All right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive approach for New York? The ball movement has been outstanding so far. They've come out of the gate looking for that extra pass. Man, they're just having their way, bullying the other team in the painted area, imposing their will down there whenever they want. Isaiah Hartenstein is out there with Achua. Then there's Boyan Bogdanovich. Then there's Alec Burks. And it's McBride in at the point. So that's who's on the floor for the Knicks. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Well, Bogdanovich may not be a star, but he has respect. All-star Kevin Durant said, quote, guys like him challenge you with their fundamentals. He can dribble, shoot, and pass. He's methodical and efficient with his movements. A guy like that can play with his brain and also with his skills. It presents a unique challenge. Brian? Boy, that is the truth. Nice stuff there, Ali. Thank you. For three, Smith sends it home from three-point land. He fits right into this next generation of power forwards. Smith, look, he is comfortable at any range. Burks against Green. Green with the defensive effort. Just enough resistance to force the miss. Barely. That's one he'll generally make. That one goes in. And with load management, some say it's the team's job at times to protect players from themselves. How different is that from when you play, Grant? You know, B.A., it's very different. I think teams now are much smarter assessing load and risk and looking more at the long-term big picture of their players. As he gets more comfortable in unlocking his potential, we'll see Green get more comfortable in moving the ball. Works for three. Holiday grabs the miss. The Rockets have gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. And Green buries it from long range. He's a go-to guy for them because he's that consistent. Time and time again, he delivers. Here's McBride. Takes a three. Drains the triple. McBride's got five points now in the quarter. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain the triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Oh, my. That's why we have those breakaway rims. Dude, he risked pulling the whole thing down to the floor right there. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. And you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. Good on the second one. Look, a big man who can score at all three levels, they do not grow on trees. Smith Jr., he is one of them. New York has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. And that's the risk 
you run when you leave him in with two fouls. Eason's checked in for the Rockets. First team foul. Rocket substitution. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second. Eason. Up top, Burks. Guarded by Van Vliet. Got a piece of it. And here we go. The Rockets in transition. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Boyan Bogdanovich picks one up. They're not the strongest part of Thompson's game, but he continues to work in the gym to improve. And give them credit for making a more concerted effort to get to the line this quarter. So New York ends up going with a whole new group. And lead against Brunson. And Jalen Brunson gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. And it's Van Vliet off the drive. Thompson finds Brooks. Here's Van Vliet. Let's it fly from 18. It's rebounded by New York. Robinson's got six rebounds in the game. For three, Randall. Kicks it out to Ananobi. Back to DiVincenzo. Clock at four. Second chance shot. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. Found some space to get off the mid-range. And he'll do damage from there if you let him. Up top, Thompson. Pass to Shangun. And Shangun throw it down. How about the bounce? <laughs> we can call that bounce per ounce. Can't be denied. Brunson passes to Randall. And it's Randall with the jam. Wow. Julius Randall. <laughs> we can feel the floor shaking on that one. And fleet against Brunson. Now Thompson. Randall pulls down the board. Randall's got four rebounds now. His fourth foul already, and we're not even at halftime. He'll likely limit his minutes the rest of the way. Here's Ananobi. 11 points for him last game against Chicago. Pass to Brunson. Let's it go from deep. The three-pointer is down. Jalen Brunson. Just an outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. Shangun with it. Brooks with it. Ananobi covering. Shangun, a screen on Ananobi. Brooks drives in. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Yeah, the rare guard who doesn't take a ton of three-pointers. Brooks is a player who enjoys his time inside the line. And Brooks drops them both. Making shots at the line. You need a good routine, and he certainly has one. If they take their time, this will be the final possession of the quarter. Yeah, it's all about clock management in these situations. Let's see how it plays out. Here's Ananobi. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's going to be on Dylan Brooks. OG Ananobi. That one misses. Two shots. He hits the second from the line. And the Rockets with possession here. It's a five-point game. The drive by Brooks. He gets it in there. Brooks has got four points in the quarter. A throwback wing. Dylan Brooks is very comfortable working down low. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. It's the Knicks. They're up by three. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. Put your hands together and get loud for Red Panda! Well, I think for the Knicks, at this point, you got to take every team you're up against as a test. Asking yourself, what can we do? Let's move on, shall we? To that first half we just watched. Guys, how about Victor Wembanyama? Thanks for tuning in. After a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. You look at Jalen Brunson. What a contribution. 
Yeah, he's kind of been the floor general for them tonight. A lot of assists for him. And it's a role we don't always see him in, but he's done a great job tonight getting the rest of his team involved. So the Rockets five now. Tari Eason is out there with Dylan Brooks. Then there's Alperon Shangun. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. And it's Thompson in at the two guard. Chalk up two there. Yeah, no question Van Vliet was going to find his man. He has excellent court vision. Great finish inside by Brunson. He has been a key factor for them offensively, scoring with consistency. Van Vliet, the pass to Shingun. From downtown, Randall pulls down the board. Randall's got his fifth rebound in this one. And they've committed to controlling the boards, and it's paying dividends. A nice start to the second half. They've made three out of their first four shots coming out of the break. Van Vliet double team to the middle. Here's Shangun. The kick out to Van Vliet. There's the three. The Knicks with the rebound. Robinson's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Pass to DiVincenzo. Who poked away. Three-pointer. The putback. Shangun against Robinson. Shot clock at six. Brunson. Here he goes. And finally, they hit one. Brunson's got seven points here in the quarter. Time and time again, they're creating good looks from close range. And they have been cold coming out of the break. Only getting one of their first four shots to drop this half. Gotta pick it up. Knocks it down from distance. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Here's Easton. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists now in this one. Pass to Robinson. Out to DiVincenzo. Robinson passes to Randall. Brunson against Van Vliet. Sneaking inside, it's Brunson. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. And Fred Van Vliet with the three. Van Vliet's got his second basket on the night. When he gets a quality look like this at the perimeter, he can almost be automatic. Gets the three to fall. And this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. And the ball out of play. The Knicks will have it. And taking a look at last year's stats. Here were the players that led the way in terms of steals. OG Ananobi, number one in the third spot. Fred Van Vliet. These two struck fear into their opponents last year. Able to force so many steals, they're a problem for opposing offenses. And the Rockets going with a whole new group out there. Here's Burks. It's not going to go for him. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. Look, I'll give him an A for effort for trying to go through the defense, but maybe he should ease up on that one just a little bit. And here we go. The Rockets in transition. Here's Green. Green rising up. Heads up play by Smith, giving it away instead of forcing something. The Knicks have gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half. Richard taking a look at Jalen Green's career so far. He's certainly not bashful shooting the ball. No, and I think it's because his coaches and teammates want him to be confident, B.A., because once he gets a few to fall, man, this man becomes very dangerous. Outside, Green. Smith against Achua. Oh, sweet move. And again, it's Houston. 59 seconds left in the third quarter. Down low. Here's Bogdanovich. An easy two on the layup. Bogdanovich has got six points. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. The three, Smith. Hartenstein pulls it in. New York has gone three of four from outside in the second half. Back to Achua. Outside Bogdanovich. 
Pass to Burks. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. That's a great possession. Put your best players in a position to succeed. Over to the left wing. Smith outside. Nice move. Going inside. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Excellent drive by Jabari Smith. This is why his coaches encourage him to be more aggressive. A nice shot by McBride. A quality pass setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. It's been all about Jalen Brunson for New York. Helping them space the floor. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Ooh, I'm fired up to see this dish one more time. It's always great to see your two guards share the wealth. Not just playing selflessly, but also making a smart decision with the ball. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. They've got Isaiah Hartenstein, Boyan Bogdanovich out there with Achua. Then there's Alec Burks, and it's McBride in at the point guard position. So that's who's on the floor for the Knicks. Right back at you, Smith, with that picture-perfect stroke. With the crossover, Bogdanovich, that's good. And the Knicks lead by 15. Bogdanovich has gone 4-4 from the field. Perfect so far. Smith against Achua. It's good. Smith's got five points in the quarter. It's just one of those nights where he's been very good, but his team is losing, and that's just an odd feeling. Hardenstein passes to Burks. Hardenstein a screen. Unloads. Burks no good. I think the defense will live with him taking mid-range jumpers, but maybe just a little bit more resistance. Outside Holiday. Pass to Adams. And here's Smith. There's the triple. Here's Green. Tries again. Here's Whitmore. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got three assists tonight. Athleticism showing through from Whitmore. He doesn't need much room at all to operate in close. Basket's good. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. And it's Holiday with the ball for the Rockets. Trailing by 13. Smith outside. Fires the three. Achua with the rebound. The rebounding differential is a major story in this game. His first shot attempt. No good off the back of the rim. The Rockets have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Holiday passes to Adams. Holiday doubled up to the wing on the left. For three, Smith. They grab their own miss. Holiday up top. Second shot opportunity. And it's good on the layup. Holiday's got his first bucket in this one. Rate of baskets assisted. It's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. A new lineup here for New York. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Hey, guys. Over the last break, I listened to Tom Thibodeau address the team. He told them, no time to celebrate. The work is not finished. We've got to stick with it and keep growing what we've got here. Words of wisdom for his squad. Back to you. Okay. Thank you, Allie. Stolen by Van Vliet. Thompson finds Van Vliet. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his fourth assist in this one. And the luxury of having Van Vliet. He doesn't need the ball to score. Fred can work off the rock and be a spot-up shooter. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Now just a five-point Nick lead. And this team is counting on Brooks in big-time moments. And guess what? Dylan delivers. Randall can't hit. The Rockets have gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter. Brooks the pass to Van Vliet. Shangun a screen on Brunson. It's Shangun high post. Here's Van Vliet. And the Rockets tack on two more. 
I mean, you have to love the intensity Van Vliet plays with in these situations. He's always ready to meet a challenge. Pass to DiVincenzo. King Goon with a steal. Fast break. Here come the Rockets. Van Vliet scanning the floor. Shangun a screen on Brunson. And it's Van Vliet off the drive. Hey, now five for eight. Shooting a pretty good percentage right now. And we've seen him do it in finals games. Van Vliet loves the big spot. <laughs> Wants to be that guy. Stolen by Ananobi. Handle outside. The kick out to Brunson. Fires for three. Buries it from outside. You talk about stepping up in a big way. What a huge play coming through that matters most. But just a rookie, but Thompson already taking and making big time shots. And I think we'll see him milk the clock a bit. Yeah, seems like the heady move right now. Here's Brunson. And he buries it. I mean, towards the end of the game, you want Brunson out there, and he can do some special things for you. Eason, pass to Van Vliet. Over Brunson. Oh, he nails it! And he's brought them within two points now. Not the shot I expected him to take or make, but hey, look, joke's on me. He hit it. Two-second difference between shot and game clock. Count it! And they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. If you want to be great, you have to have that killer instinct. Brooks outside. To Easton. Back to Brooks. From behind the arc. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. It's going to be on OG Ananobi. And the first of three, missing that time. That's a tough one to miss. He's got two more chances now. And this is a big moment for Brooks. He's someone that loves being the man in these spots. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those, so they get into the penalty. Yeah, and that was a smart move. I mean, you have to foul right there. You just don't want them to run out the clock. And that's an intentional foul. He gets the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. With as much as Brunson handles the ball, he's going to find himself at the line in these key situations. Cool, and his free throw put a bow on this one. Nice way to finish the game. For three, Smith. Offline.
Still getting used to each other. Yeah, I think what people don't realize is that it's not just a change on the court. It means new personalities in the locker room, the team playing, team meals. It can be a big change, sometimes for better, sometimes for worse. A look at the opening lineup for the Houston Rockets. Brooks is out there with Tari Eason. Then it's Thompson. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. And it's Shingun in at the five down low. Thompson is one of the best pure athletes to come into the league in quite some time. He's fast, and boy, can he fly. Houston shooting their first free throws of the evening. And they were 75% from the line a season ago. Last game for the Rockets, they picked up the win against Los Angeles. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Van Vliet with it. He's picked up by Gilgis Alexander. Brooks gets to Shangoon. Shengun with a screen on Giddy. Here's the three. Shengun no good. And here's Gilgis Alexander. He'll bring it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Home court didn't seem to help any last time they met. We'll see if it makes a difference this time. Yeah, and their last time out against this club, turnovers really did them in. Just way too many mistakes. They were forced into tons of sloppy play, and I think they'll be looking to be more composed tonight. Now the Thunder with it. Knocks it loose. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Traps in the tray. Uh, Van Vliet has proven more than capable as a legitimate three-point threat. Knocks down the jump shot there. Gilgis Alexander against Van Vliet. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. Gilgis Alexander kicks to Holmgren. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. And, and playing up tempo, pro-level ball can be hard for some guys, but Holmgren has easily made the transition. Williams against Easton. Shen Goon with a wide open look. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. And, and good to get him going early. That, that shot should give him some confidence. It's all about mindset out of the gate. If you're aggressive and they give you room, go ahead, let it fly. Hands it from downtown. The wheel come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Here's Dort, and he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Well, you see the combination of Lou Dort at his best. Makes the steal, gets in transition, and scores it. Doris, you don't see many players in the NBA that play the way Lou Dort does. Wow. Kevin, this guy is legit as a defensive player in the NBA. Loves to do the dirty work. May play the two-guard position, but his frame and his game play more like a forward. The kid plays with so much ferocity. And, and you guys, you can't allow Holmgren to gain confidence from the mid-range. He'll burn you when you give him those looks. Took him no time at all on that one. Van Vliet's got five. And hitting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. They're basically saying, you're going to have to guard us at every point on the floor tonight if you're going to have any chance. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two now, here's Gilgis Alexander. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Dallas. Well, in addition to the scoring, he found ways to initiate contact from the defense and get himself to the line. The defense clearly frustrated trying to get a way to stop him. Not everyone has the green light to take that three in transition, but he does, especially with the defense already set up protecting the paint. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Scoreless thus far. That, folks, is about the speed of Shea Gilgis Alexander. Gets in there before the defense can react. Thompson against Holmgren. Back to Thompson. And Thompson throws it down. Oh, why dunk you very much. Yeah, he, he can really fly. And you combine that, Greg, with some nice penetration, too. And you've got two points. Houston moving it around. Shangoon finds Easton. Back to Shangoon. And here's Thompson. Into the lane. And he slams it down right on top of Chet Holmgren. Rocketing off the deck. Thompson showing that youthful exuberance. 
Gilgis Alexander. That's a two-pointer. Again, Oklahoma City. And, and his presence as a scorer, it, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need him. And the rejection by Holmgren. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Williams sends a screen for Gilgis Alexander. And the dunk by Gilgis Alexander. I love when Shea does not just settle for a layup. Finish with authority. What a pretty dunk. Van Vliet passes to Thompson. Eason with a screen for Thompson. And Thompson throws it down. Oh, get out of his way. No way the D was going to slow him down. Holmgren can't hit. Giddy against the oh. We see this night in and night out. Thompson uses his size and elevation to make tough shots in the paint. Here's Gilgis Alexander, and the basket is good. Gilgis Alexander's got eight. And this game already taking shape as an offensive battle. Well, the fans love it. Coaches may not like the lack of defense, but boy, the rules promote score. Oh, we've seen some great shots in the first quarter. No shortage of offense. Houston on top. They lead by five. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Rockets. I mean, they've come out aggressive defensively, getting into them, and, and coming up with some cookies along the way. Yeah, they've also been alert and active on the defensive end, creating turnovers and turning those into points on the offensive end. We've got Williams, Hayward out there with Wiggins, then there's Wallace, and it's Joe in at the two spot. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. Well, the New Zealander shows a little hops on the alley-oop. Pass to Wiggins. The kick out to Williams. Lock at six. And it's Wiggins with the jam. How good was Zach? Felt the taller defender on him, gave a little extra burst, and that's all it took. Holiday against Wallace. Smith outside. Over Wiggins. They kick it out to Green. Second chance shot. Rebound by Williams. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. And it's Wiggins missing. Rockets leading by three. Green in the post. Ended by Hayward. And such great feel for the game. What more knowing where his teammates are at all times. And the slam by Williams. Greg, there's been a scoring surge throughout the league. Is that due to poor defense, or is it to the rising talent level? Listen, teams are still defending, and, and the rules might have helped some. There is no doubt that there's not as much grabbing and holding. But these guys are scoring from all over the court and, and doing things we've just never seen before. Wiggins drawn the double team and wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Jump ball. Outside, Green to the middle, and then Smith with the dunk. The whole selfless play right there from Green. He's all about getting it to the open man. Here's Joe. Well-placed jumper from the free throw line. Listen, he hits that shot on a regular basis. Give credit to the offense for getting him a clean look. Holiday attacking. Smith inside. Hollers on him. Smith's shot is good. Bringing back the mid-range, Jabari Smith Jr. And here's Wallace. He'll bring it up for Oklahoma City. Trailing by five. Williams, a screen on green. Kicks it out to Wiggins. Pass to Joe. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Five on the clock. Passes it to Wiggins. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. Williams can't get it to go. Rockets leading by five. 
Driving in. And the pass to Smith. Over Wiggins. And it's Smith that time on the assist by Whitmore. Smith's got six points in the quarter. Well, after a less than stellar start in the first quarter, you like to see that shot go down. A chance now to see the numbers for Jalen Green. A very nice season for him last year. Averaged about 22 points per. Three assists and three rebounds. And right now for him, it's about gaining experience and continuing to develop his game. This is a man's game, and you've got to earn your minutes in this league. This guy, his time will come eventually. Catching up on the changes for Oklahoma City. Holmgren, he's checked in for Williams. Williams comes in for Wiggins. Dort, he's checked in for Gordon Hayward. And Gilgis Alexander is subbed in for Wallace. And that's a foul called on Shea Gilgis Alexander. That is his first foul of the game. And the Thunder making a change here. Giddy's checked in. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Dort. Yeah, gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. But a really good read on his part, being disruptive at the defensive end right now. Off the inbound pass. Shangoon finds Van Vliet. Fires away from way outside. They grab their own miss. Pass to Thompson. And Thompson throws it down. And this one has been all about Amin Thompson, a, a freakish athlete. When he gets rolling, there's just not much a defender can do. Holmgren gets the bucket. Well, for a big man, his stroke is just beautiful. And because of the height, it's so hard to challenge. Here's Eason. And the dunk by Eason. Well, not exactly one of those big, burly power forwards, right? He depends on his leaping ability more than those guys. And it serves him just fine. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope, he, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. It's Gilgis Alexander with the drive. And there it is for him. Well, that's a big time strong take right there by Shea Gilgis Alexander on the deck. Score it, yes sir. The shot by Thompson, no good. Clock management, this is where they can get a two for one. And Kevin, every opportunity counts. And out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. Houston leading by three. Brooks the pass to Easton. And Vliet on the wing. Shoots. And the basket for the fourth time from the field. He's a healthy four for six. Well, you're really impressed with the growth of Fred Van Vliet as a scorer. This guy's so coachable, so willing to take what the defense gives him. Knocks down the jump shot. Giddy finds Dort. Back to Giddy. And he uses the glass on the layup. Giddy has got his first basket of the night. Well, great decision from Dort. If your teammate is open, get him the basketball. Nicely done. And the Thunder can't hang on to the ball. Five seconds left in the first half. Van Vliet with the bucket. Yeah, this guy is cooking right now. Fred Van Vliet has found his rhythm, and the defense better step up here. And so it's Houston with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. Welcome in for halftime. You love what their second unit has done. Major, major contributions offensively. I just wonder if they can keep it up. And let's take a Thank you for being with us. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Fred Van Vliet has been sensational. And if he can keep shooting from deep like he did in the first half, he's going to be more than a handful. What I love is they've continued to feed this guy. Ride the hot hand until the defense does something about it. Courtesy of the 2K leaderboard, here's a peek at the league's top scores from a season ago. Fourth, Shea Gilgis-Alexander. 
And, and looking back, his points per game really underscored the fact that he never took a game off. I mean, one special performance after another all season long. So on the floor for Houston, we've got Fred Van Vliet, Alperin Shangoon out there with Tari Eason. Then it's Thompson, and it's Brooks in at the three spot. Shot clock at six. Here's Dort with the drive. Rockets with the rebound. Van Vliet kicks to Shangoon. Shangoon with the screen for Van Vliet. And the rejection by Holmgren. Already set the summer league record for blocks in his first game. Holmgren, one of the best young shot blockers in the league. Back to Brooks. And Vliet deciding where to go with it. Pass to Shengun. Shakes him. And falls. Great assist by Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got three assists in the game. Gil just Alexander passes to Giddy. At the top of the key, Holmgren. Down low. Nice move. And the dunk by Holmgren. I mean, sneaky. But when he moves around the floor, Holmgren takes you out of the play, slips past, and just rolls to the hoop. Houston moving it around. The open shot by Shengun. And Houston again with the bucket. <laughs> In the mid-range. Rarely the hallmark of efficiency in today's NBA, but it is on point tonight. Over in the corner, Williams. Over Eason. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Thunder will retain possession. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Dort kicks to Giddy. Stolen by Brooks. Thompson against Giddy. Thompson passes to Shengu. Eason. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Here's Dort. The shot's good. Well, Dort touched the paint, and he was immediately thinking score. Passes it to Van Vliet. Shengun with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Offensive rebound. Out to Thompson. Another shot. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Houston shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. And the Thunder going with a whole new group out there. Houston with a big group substitution here. Steven Adams, he's checked in for Shengun. Jabari Smith comes in for Charlie Houston. Whitmore, he's checked in for Dylan Brooks. And Aaron Holliday's subbed in for Fred Van Vliet. Jalen Green's checked in for Thompson. The pass to Williams. He dishes it to Hayward. He's looking for Williams and finds him. Pass to Joe. Williams, a screen on Green. Six on the shot clock. Lays it up off the glass. Joe's got five points so far. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Wiggins against Smith. And that'll be Oklahoma City's ball as it goes out of bounds. Now we have a chance. Let's take a look at the teams that led the NBA in rebounding last season. The Rockets fourth. It was really an impressive campaign for their bigs. And, and honestly, I think the whole team did a great job of getting bodies on bodies and controlling that defensive backboard. Shoots it. Joe can't get it to go. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Green against Wallace. Green deciding where to go with it. Smith for three. Wiggins with the rebound. And they're trailing by five. Pass to Joe. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Steven Adams picks one up. Oh, the officials are all over that one. He's made one and missed one so far in the game. And how about a year ago? 82% on his foul shot, so he was reliable when he went to the line. He hits the second from the line. Rockets leading by four. 
Smith dishes to Adams. Back to Smith. Puts up a three. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. Sometimes you have to fight for it, and Smith showed he's up to the task. And he's good on the second. And he makes all three. Here is Hayward. Hasn't made one yet. 106 left to play here in the third. Wallace the screen. Wiggins kicks to Wallace. Hayward outside. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's blocked right out of the air and controls it. Smith with a wide open look from out on the wing. He knocks it down. Smith's got the lead up to nine now for the Rockets. Holiday against Wallace. 32 seconds left here in the third quarter. Williams. Three pointer. Wallace misses. Houston leading by nine. To the paint. Passes to Smith. Outside Holiday. Out to Smith. Back to Holiday. Here's Whitmore. And it's good, but hold on. The officials may want to look at that one on the replay, Mon. Well, we thought the third quarter. The previous play is under review. Play to see if he released the ball before the buzzer. And the footage relayed to the officials from the replay center in Secaucus, I, I, I think he got... The ruling on the floor is overturned. And the call is going to be overturned. The second look shows that he did, in fact. And so it's Houston holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. We'll return shortly. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. The post pair of form will be Williams and Holmgren. Josh Giddy is out there with Gilgis Alexander. And it's Dort in at the small four. It's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. Boy, you've got to have a tight handle to make that kind of move. Blue Dort, show off. The shot's good. Gilgis Alexander making the play. Gilgis Alexander's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Shangun passes to Van Vliet. There's the try. Shoots from 14. And Houston again with the bucket. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. And here's Gilgis Alexander outside. That's no basket. His third miss and eight tries. And Thompson kicks to Brooks. From deep. Connects from three-point range. Brooks has got his first three points of the game. Oh, spacing the floor. Brooks is comfortable shooting it from deep. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Jacks up a three. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. I'll tell you what a night. He has been efficient. He's been strong. Unfortunately, they're still fighting an uphill battle. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on Holmgren. I mean, even from over here, you could see that one pretty clearly. They're doing a better job of working themselves to the line here in the second half. And the Rockets making a change here. Smith has checked in. That one's in there. Rocket lead is cut down now to just nine in the bucket from Gilgis Alexander. Shengun against Dort. Shengun passes to Brooks. And Shengun throws it down. You know, I like that recognition. He knows he's in rhythm, knows this is the time to give his team some punch. And Gilgis Alexander throws it down. Yeah, you know, Shade Gilgis Alexander has now emerged into a superstar. And on nights like this, guys, he's unstoppable. Thompson finds Smith. Off target from outside. The Thunder have gone five of six in the field to start the fourth quarter on a roll. 
And a wide open look for Gilgis Alexander. And that comes off the assist by Giddy. Well, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Houston moving the ball around. Here's Thompson. The offensive rebound. There's the pass to Brooks. Thompson outside. Second shot opportunity. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. This one for three. Couldn't get it to drop. He's now made five of eight shots. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. Pass to Williams. It's Dort on the wing. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Back to Dort. On the wing, Giddy. Just five to shoot. Thompson with the rebound. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Rockets. They've led by as many as 14 points. Smith the pass to Shengu. One nineteen left to play in the final quarter. And it's in there. And the Rockets lead by eight. You know, he hasn't taken as many shots tonight, but they're still ahead. And that means his teammates are delivering. Williams for three. Knocks down the three ball. We are talking about a 6'6 point guard. Shea has got a great view of the floor. What an easy pass. And Vliet gets to Shengu. Smith on the way. Van Vliet outside. Back to Smith. Pass to Shengun. Thompson outside. Over Giddy. Thompson right side. Back to Shengun. Brooks outside. It's stolen by Dort. And looking for a very quick shot here. You've got to run a play that's a quick strike. You've got to immediately foul after that. Thompson against Gilgis Alexander. Yes! The quiet confidence, the ruthless execution. You need a big-time bucket. Shea is on time. I mean, foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. Had to foul, and on that occasion, to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. And now we've got the intentional foul. Yeah, no way that should have taken so long. They don't have that much time to waste. They need to foul immediately. He drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Tough situation for Green. Is he feeling the pressure? Or can he rise above it? Well, what a performer this guy is. Game is on the line. He stands up and delivers. And here's Gilgis Alexander outside. Knocks down the trifecta. Certainly not a normal shot for Shea there, but his focus lets him get off a great look. Right on the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. So he gets them both, and it's a four-point ballgame. Time call here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. They're down by four. Six seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Guys, what do you think? Yeah, trying to get back in this thing. They need a score. They need to score, and they need to do it quickly. But it is still possible here. Six seconds left in the fourth. Gilgis Alexander can't get it to go. And...
Ball is coming in full force. Grant, there's nothing quite like this time of year. It's the best time of the year. And I'm chomping at the bit. I mean, every fan is excited and, of course, optimistic. You know, fans all over are excited to see the new faces on their team. So, nothing can beat some good old basketball in the fall. And now the opening lineup for New York. Randall and Robinson with the tandem inside. Dante DiVincenzo out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Ananobi in at the three. And so it's New York with it. Following the bucket by the Thunder. Outside for Randall. Back to Ananobi. Takes it inside. That one is off. Good work defensively by Dort. Releases. Hauled in by DiVincenzo. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Pass to Randall. Let's it go from 14. Can't get it to drop. Here's Oklahoma City now. And although Randall can run an offense, he looks so much more comfortable as a finisher brand. Yeah, there are nights, PA, where Randall for sure is the primary ball handler that you want to attack and be that bowling ball to make things happen. But... When he plays off the ball and he's finishing around the basket, he's incredibly difficult to stop. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. He takes it in. For three, DiVincenzo hits a three-pointer. And the shooting numbers just keep going up and up for Dante. And Gilgis Alexander, here we go. Pass to Holmgren. Ananobi against Gilgis Alexander. Dort, the pass to Holmgren. From deep, six on the shot clock. Fires in the triple. Holmgren's got five now. And you can already tell Holmgren has an edge to his game. Gets the three right back. That's the competitive streak you need as a young player. Now here's Brunson. Coming off a solid outing against Chicago. That one goes. Count it. When you're trying to stop a guy like this, you have to match his intensity level. Gilgis Alexander passes to Holmgren. Now Kitty. Holmgren with a screen on DiVincenzo. Back to Holmgren. Crafty move. And it's good. Two points. He's got seven. Offensively, they've been pretty sharp. Three for four so far. DiVincenzo. Pass to Ananobi. And here's Brunson. Dort defending. Inside. Randall. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. They'll have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position. Plenty of space. Just clanked it. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Holmgren. Floats one up. No good. Three for four in the game now. New York trailing. Brunson looks it over. Robinson a screen on Dort. Brunson passes to Randall. Now here's Ananobi. Williams defending. Ananobi can't get it to go for Oklahoma City. They've gone three of five here in the opening quarter. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Holmgren. The three is up. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis. Alexander. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks able to retain possession here. Look at it last year. Here were the players that led the way in terms of overall scoring. The fourth spot held by Shea Gilgis Alexander. This is a guy who never took a night off. You look at his numbers, and you know that he put in a tremendous effort every single game. So New York ends up going with a whole new group. Bogdanovich, that's good. The veteran Bogdanovich is used to bearing difficult shots, including ones through contact. Time out called the Thunder. A line change here for Oklahoma City. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's Hayward. And he buries his first look. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Down low, here's McBride. Williams grabs the board. The Thunder have gotten five of seven shots to fall. Back to
to Wiggins. Achua with a steal. Outside Burks. Pass to Hartenstein. Now Bogdanovich. Achua with a screen on Wiggins. Achua with it. Over Hayward. Back to Bogdanovich. Here's McBride. Outside Burks. And he comes up with a bucket. Oh, that's excellent. Get the ball down deep inside and cash in on a simple basket. Just one second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Stolen by Burks. And now the Knicks on the break. Here's Hardenstein. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. It's all knotted up. Great at using his body and finding his feet in positions on the boards where he can get up, get to it, get an extra possession. Pass to Wiggins. Wing shot on the way. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. And so it's Chad Holmgren making things happen. Close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out ahead in the second quarter. And for the Thunder guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? They are looking engaged so far, especially on offense. Well, if they wanted to start well, this would be it. They seized momentum right away, and they just didn't let it go in that quarter. So on the floor for the Knicks, we've got Boyan Bogdanovich. Isaiah Hartenstein is out there with Achua. Then there's Alec Burks. And it's McBride in at the one. Gotta love the effort there. An undersized four who can really make things happen with that leaping ability. Here's Wallace. Still without a bucket. Pass to Hayward. Back to Williams. And Williams punches it home. <laughs> this game has been like a seesaw. Both teams going back and forth at one another. Yes, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. Ooh, that's a tough spot to be in as a defender. With that height disadvantage, it's very hard to protect the rim. Well, Grant, you've been the up-and-comer, but you've also played the role of the veteran. What's the key to that latter stage? You know, B.A., your contributions as a veteran are felt just as much with your leadership as they are with your numbers. So sharing what you've learned with those younger players on the way up is so, so important and nobody putting out much of an effort to stop him. Surprising in a close game, a lack of energy on defense. On one side, inspiration. On the other, devastation. Here's McBride. The Thunder making their last shot. Pass to Bogdanovich. Down to five on the shot clock. McBride passes to Achua. Burks for three. With the putback. Great positioning on the putback. Hardenstein's got six here in the quarter. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Hayward's shot is off. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight to try to avoid the end one. And this time... They're not backing off. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. And with a pause in the action, here we have the best rebounding teams from the last year. In the third spot, the Knicks. And they, of course, have a style of play that is all about physicality. I mean, they love to embrace the contact out on the court. But the possession game for them is always pivotal. Here's Wallace, had an OB covering. Here's Williams, and that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. That's been the story of their offense so far, getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Brunson passes to Ananobi, to the middle. Here's Robinson, and a big finish by Robinson. Well, that's exactly what you expect. Mitchell Robinson within three feet, that's two points. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that back. First personal foul. Second team foul. The first one falls. A big group substitution here for Oklahoma City. Isaiah Jones. Two shots. 
Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. New York has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. You know, one guy who's surprisingly physical at the offensive end, Jalen Brunson. Fundamentals, B.A., around Jalen Brunson's footwork are things that players, young players today, need to study. Incredibly efficient and very dangerous when he gets it going offensively. Giddy's checked in for Joe. And Gilgis Alexander has that length to be able to extend up to the rim. Here's Brunson outside. And his first miss of the night. Now two of three. Gilgis Alexander against Hananobi. Holmgren with a screen on DiVincenzo. Over to the wing. The three. And it's Holmgren missing. Just enough of a shot contest to bother him. And now the Knicks on the break. And the finish on the break with the slam. And sometimes the simplest play is the best one. DiVincenzo made it. Ananobi against Gilgis Alexander. To the inside. Holmgren. The kick out to Williams. And a nice finish on the layup. And the Thunder lead by two. Now what a great option he gives them on every possession. DiVincenzo finds Brunson. Inside goes Brunson. Soft touch off the glass. Brunson's got eight points. Something about Brunson on the drive. He's just so fiery with the ball. Nothing's going to get in his way. Gilgis Alexander passes to Giddy. Here's Holmgren. Good work defensively by Robinson. The Knicks have gotten seven of ten attempts to drop in the second quarter. DiVincenzo against Dort. Back to DiVincenzo. Puts up a three. Offensive rebound. The kick out to Brunson. That one's down for Brunson. And they've really been more consistent from the field this quarter. The Thunder have gotten six of nine attempts to go in the second. Looking good. The shot by Dort. No good. For New York, they've gotten eight of 12 attempts to drop since the beginning of the second. And the basket is good. He got it to go, and he took the bump. So a free throw coming up. An opportunity in a three-point play. That free throw is good from Ananobi. And Gilgis Alexander's got the ball here for the Thunder. Six-point game. They beat the Knicks during their last encounter in New York. The last game between these teams was so close. But ultimately, their bench put them over the top. Yeah, without the scoring they got from that second unit, that is not a game they would have won. They needed every one of those points that they got off the bench. Oh, not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead. Oh, a good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. Good job to recognize the opportunity. That's just very solid offense. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Knicks out in front, leading by five. And we'll see you back here after the break. Third quarter action in just a bit. I like to see them work hard on the glass, use that box out, use it or lose it. Yeah, gotta trust the big fella on that one. And let's take a second now to see what the fan Appreciate you joining us. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Chet Holmgren with a strong contribution so far in this one. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. Now this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. Inside, we got Williams and Holmgren. Shea Gilgis Alexander is out there with Josh Giddy, And it's Dort in at the three spot. That's the lineup for Oklahoma City. Now here's Brunson. Pass to Robinson. Come get it, come get it. DiVincenzo on the wing. Gilgis Alexander defending. Shot clock at two. Oh, wow. Drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. 
Brunson so smart using that high IQ just to move the defense around and get fouled. And he's good on the second. And he nails the third. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. From deep, Holmgren. That one's good. And so Gilgis Alexander with the assist. Gilgis Alexander's got his fourth assist with that last one. Here's Robinson. Williams grabs the board. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. Robinson against Gilgis Alexander. The three. The Knicks pull it in. And stolen by Williams. Pass to Holmgren. And Jalen Brunson gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. First foul. First foul. Gilgis Alexander looking it over. Driving inside. SGA working through contact inside. Gilgis Alexander in traffic uses that athleticism. Brunson finds Randall. Outside Robinson. Back to Randall. Robinson finds some space. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Holmgren's got his fourth rebound in this one. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. Holmgren with a screen on DiVincenzo. That's to Holmgren. For the tie. Kept alive. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander on the wing. SGA from distance. And it's SGA showing he can play without the ball. And what's really impressive about Josh Giddy is his versatility. And it's such a young age, Brent. Yeah, Giddy at 6'8", VA, I think it's awesome because his size allows his skills to be accelerated and magnified. He sees over the top of a lot of defenders, and he can outquick them, not with his feet, but with the pass. Back to Holmgren. Just five to shoot. to Giddy. Now a timeout, timeout call timeout. by Oklahoma City. You look at Jalen Brunson. What a contribution. A smart move here. Talk things over. He's really eating them up and they've tried a few different looks defensively. Nothing quite getting it done. So both teams changing it up here. Right around three minutes into this second half. Five to shoot. The kick out to Williams. The three ball. Achua with a rebound. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. And it gets that one. And now a five-point New York lead. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. And Hayward, here we go. Yep, that one goes. Hayward's got eight. For someone who is 6'7", Hayward is a really good ball handler. Here's Bogdanovich. And he banks in the layup. And the Knicks lead by five simple. The closer you are to the hoop, the better your chance to score. There's the drive. Here's Williams. Pass to Wallace. And here is Williams. Here's Wallace. Wiggins looking around. Over at Chua. And the shot's good by Wiggins. Wiggins has gotten his first basket of the night. 103 left in the third quarter. Burks goes in. That shot missing. Some solid defense from Williams. Wallace, the pass to Hayward. Williams on the wing. Stolen by Burks. move and he sinks the layup Burks has gotten his second bucket yeah showing a little versatility with their offensive attack in the first half it was about the three ball in the second half they've emphasized interior scoring here's Wallace no points yet boom he jams it straight down 
Get up there, young fella. Sometimes as a point guard, you got to take it yourself. Well, it's okay to be selfish when you can flush it like that. Well, if he's calling his own number, there's a reason for it. There you respect the decision-making from him out there. Hayward outside. Shots continuing to fall as we conclude the third. Both teams putting up some points. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. And he definitely deserves the award. Leading the defense like a point guard. So helpful to the offensive versatility when your bigs can create, freeing everybody up, and that cut was wide open. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. And on the floor for New York here in the fourth, Randall and Robinson of the tandem inside. Dante DiVincenzo out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Ananobi in a small forward. Dort, the pass to Williams. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. And stolen by Brunson. And now the Knicks on the break. Ananobi finds Brunson. Back to Ananobi. Jacks up a three. Yes. And a nice assist from Brunson. Brunson's got three assists now in this one. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stat for New York. Their defensive intensity has served them well. It kept the offense scrambling and resulted in several steals. They've been fantastic tonight, really enforcing giveaways and getting scores on the other end. I mean, you get a few more possessions like that, the confidence grows, you win that turnover battle. Two on one as they jump out on the break. And it's Giddy missing. It's never easy from that distance, but we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-up, so maybe just a step too far. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. And there's a whistle. That'll belong to Shea Gilgis Alexander. That's foul number two for him. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Here's Ananobi. And Giddy defensively does a good job moving his feet. Great instincts on that side of the ball. Their long range shooting since halftime has been as strong as you could hope for. Outside Giddy. Holmgren inside, working on Robinson. A strong finish to cut into that lead a little. And left no doubt with that one, Grant. Pass to DiVincenzo. Here's Brunson. Dort defending. Launches it. And there's Brunson. That one's good. On the assist by DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo's got three assists tonight. He'll just Alexander from outside. The shot off that time. Oh, a nice D from Ananobi. The Knicks have got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Pass to Robinson. Pulls up, high post. The Thunder pull it in. He lacks defense there. He's going to see fewer and fewer chances if he can't bury those kind of jumpers. And it's Holmgren missing. No need to rush here. Take your time. Take your time. This is where you can reset and try to get a good shot. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Here's Brunson outside. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. Holmgren's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Oh, Robinson with a block. Hard to score when Robinson's down there being a factor. Holmgren, the pass to Giddy. Dort against Brunson. Just five on the clock. Oklahoma City's got to hurry. They got to get up a shot. Williams misses. <laughs> That's exactly how you have to defend him on the perimeter. Can't allow any space. And they were really able to find the mismatches they wanted and exploit those all night. Great execution from the players and coaching staff for the Knicks. They had to fight for this one. With the game hanging in the balance a couple of times, they made winning plays, Grant. It's all about having a strong mentality. What's interesting is that any time momentum turned against them, instead of folding, they responded with their own attack. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year.
And with this victory, they managed to avoid the embarrassment of getting totally swept in this season series. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Jalen Brunson. Just really loved his activity level here tonight. Constantly mixed it up, and he threw himself into a lot of plays. And they came in here with some attitude, and it brought out their best play. Yeah, it looks like a veteran team tonight getting out on the road, playing with assertiveness, confidence, fully in control for this win. Here's Brunson outside. And again, New York with the triple. Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game, but... Once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Holmgren with a screen on Ananobi. Back to Holmgren. Fires the three. Hits the trifecta. Oh, what a make by Holmgren, letting everyone know he's ready for them. And Brunson's got the ball here for the Knicks. At one point, they led by 16. And the ball is jump tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. The three.
beginning of this great season to come. It's just so great, Clark, to be here with you. How excited are you? No more off-season talk, guys. I mean, finally, we get to play for real. Some games that count. Let's go. Like me, on Christmas morning, I am excited. So the New York starting five. Rando will step in at the four with Robinson as the center. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Ananobi in at the three, the small four. Now here's Thompson. Boy, was he something else against the Clippers. Next ball. Even Genzo against Van Vliet. No one near Randall as he lets it go. A three-pointer, no good. Up top, Shangun. Guarded by Robinson. Here's Thompson. Passes it to Easton. Van Vliet on the wing. Shoots over Even Genzo. That one rolling around and rims out. Boy, you've got to be there defensively. I mean, that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain. And finished off by Robinson. And forget about finesse. This big fella's all about the power. And the Rockets hiring of Coach Udoka brought a lot of optimism, it seems, to the fan base. Yeah, Houston has had a rough go in recent years. And Udoka took the Celtics to the NBA Finals in his long season as head coach. They're not expecting that kind of success right away, but they're hopeful he can turn things in the right direction. Shangun with the ball. Robinson picks him up and stolen by DiVincenzo. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last outing. Matter of fact, a lot of his points came from the stripe. He was feeling it. And guys, if a game was coming down to the wire and an opponent needed to foul, I mean, he was the guy they wanted with the ball in his hands. I mean, shooting the free throws because of his proficiency there. Fires for three. Brooks grabs the board. And here are the Rockets now. It's a three-point game. Van Vliet finds Eason. Drops in the tray. And great find by Van Vliet. He's in control of this offense and generally makes good decisions. Here's DiVincenzo. I mean, he's just making the D look foolish. I mean, that was one heck of a move to get himself the space he needed to operate. And how about the slam to finish it off? Not too shabby either. I gotta tell you what, safe to say that was a good looking play from start to finish. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. And there's the call on Amen Thompson. That is his first foul of the game. Second team foul. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Rockets have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Inside, here's Eason. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Eason's got five. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Robinson kicks to Brunson. Robinson sets a screen for Brunson. Off target from three-point range. Rockets have gone four of five from the field so far. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. And here we can check out the story on Julius Randle. He's coming off an excellent season. And he ranked in the top 15 in points per game. One of the league's premier offensive threats. He was a top 10 rebounder last season for good reason. He's an incredibly intense guy to compete with. And, uh, and, and for a full game, too. I mean, just nonstop. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Yep, the next one puts them on the line, so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. A three for DiVincenzo. Buries the long-range jumper. DiVincenzo's got his second bucket. And the three-point shot of DiVincenzo is dangerous. Defense cannot allow him to get airspace from there. This guy is a hot flyer. I mean, especially for a power forward, and he needs to be as an undersized player. Greg, you spent your first four seasons playing in New York. What's that like? When the Knicks are winning, Kevin, there is no place you'd rather be. The fans are incredibly smart, loyal, and they'll treat you like a king. But no doubt that media pressure is for real. And, you know, the impressive ascension of Randall has been a lot of fun to watch. I mean, he's a double-double threat who plays with relentless energy. Eason finds Van Vliet. Back to Eason. Takes it inside. 
Robinson with the block. And here's the fast break. Randall leading it all the way. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. Here's Eason. No good from outside. Got the defender off his feet with the pump fake, but couldn't knock it down. Brunson the pass to Robinson. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. Yeah, great feed there by Jalen Brunson. A terrific facilitator. And Thompson kicks to Shangoon. 54 seconds left to play here in the first. Ananobi against Brooks. And there's a flexibility to Brooks' game. He can play a specific role for you, or he can be a high-usage guy. It really depends on what a team needs from night to night. Houston with a big group substitution here. Steven Adams, he's checked in for Shengu. Smith comes in for Jari Eason. Jalen Green's checked in for Fred Van Vliet. And Aaron Holiday is subbed in for Thompson. A nice strong finish from Bogdanovich, showing no fear at all. Smith for three. The Rockets with another miss. New York's gone one of five from downtown the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Free throw good. Burks. Whitmore, he's checked in for Houston. And he makes both free throws. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Adams with it. Out guarded by Bogdanovich. Basket, good. And Whitmore at beast inside because of his power and ability to elevate. Beyond the arc. It's rebounded by Houston. It was a victory here for the home team last time these guys met. And they had to scrape and claw to get the win the last time these two teams went head-to-head. -head. It came down to a few key free throws at the end. Yep, when the game gets snug or tight, that's where KG teams often execute and get easy offense. A nice first quarter of play. We've seen plenty of offense so far. New York ahead, up two. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Toyota Center. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And when you consider how the Knicks are doing, guys, what are your thoughts? They just They've gotten to the line with tremendous consistency here through the first period. Yeah, this is how you can keep a crowd quiet, though. I mean, methodically score at the line and take some of that energy away from the fans. They don't like to have the action stop and the opposing team scoring. Setting the floor for the Knicks. They've got Precious Achua. He's out there with Bogdanovich. Hartenstein is out there with Alec Burks. And it's McBride in at the one spot. Clock is at three. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. The the league is now, Greg, on any given night, we sometimes see a team fall flat. Is it just luck of the draw? Sometimes players are tired, and sometimes they relax. You know, this is why leadership is so vital. Setting that standard for others to follow. Wow, Green looks almost unstoppable out there, crashing through the defense and getting into a shot. Bogdanovich. Achua, the pass to Bogdanovich. The drive by Green, and Green slams it in. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm. Turn it over and give him a free run to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. You know, those kinds of plays can be difference makers, game changers, momentum shifters, especially in a close contest where one or two possessions can impact the outcome. Adams puts every ounce of energy into his defense. He's not out there to contest shots. He's out there to reject it. And some nice passing there by Houston. Smith, no luck. The Knicks have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. The dunk by Achua. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Here's Whitmore. It's the three-point bomb. Whitmore's got his second bucket tonight. And those are the kinds of shots that give rookies like Whitmore so much confidence. Pass to McBride. On its way from Burks for two. To the left wing. Now the pass to McBride. 
from downtown. Good D by Holiday. Rockets are gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter. Three of six. Green with the ball. And Burks picks him up defensively. Launches a three. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. Yep, you know, after a score in this first period, he's really turned it up a notch. Building some momentum. Shots good by Achua. Achua. Now about three minutes gone in this second quarter of basketball. Two minutes remaining. Holiday dishes to Green. Two minutes. Pass to Smith. Feeds to Adams. It's stolen by Smith. The kick out to Holiday. Here's Green. And Houston again with the bucket. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Houston. They've really been disruptive on the defensive end. Forcing turnovers and turning those turnovers into points at the other end. And they are also just outworking the opposition in transition. When the break is on, they've continued to find ways to score. Excellent job by Green finishing through that contact. Here's Hartenstein, and he banks in the layup. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. For three, Smith. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got three assists in the game. Burks against Green. Back to Burks. To the middle. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, G.A., right when your teammate makes that kind of play. And you know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. All the officials are all over that. One. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without fouling. Houston with a big group substitution here. Shen Goon's checked in for Steven Adams. Brooks comes in for Whitmore. Fred Van Vliet is checked in for Jalen Green. And Thompson in for Aaron Holiday. Brunson, no good. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. On the wing, DiVincenzo. The shot is good. And so is his shooting tonight. Three for four. DiVincenzo with the nice touch on the inside shot. Boy, he really knows how to make it work at close range. And Brooks, here we go. Shengun kicks to Smith. Got it up. Oh, and the buzzer beater is good. Resourceful move there, ending the period. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. Well, I think for the Knicks, at this point, you got to take every team you're up against as a test. Asking yourself, what can we do? Now back to our game. Pretty impressive first half for the Houston Rockets. Offensively, they've been impressive. Thank you for being with us. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. You look at Jalen Green, he's really been playing well. In that first half, he was a hot knife, and the defense was butter. Sliced right through them. Well, you know what, guys? My question is this. Who's he going to posterize in this half? You know, we've already gotten a number of filthy dunks out of him. And Van Vliet out there with Thompson. Then it's Brooks. Then it's Alperin Shangoon. And it's Easton in at the four slot. That's the five for Houston right now. With this break in the action, we can show you the teams that had the most rebounds last season. In third, the Knicks. The Rockets fourth. I mean, these clubs are almost a mirror image of one another in that regard. You look at the rebounding numbers, really impressive just how physically dominant they both are in the paint. Takes a shot at the elbow. Robinson pulls it in. Knicks trail by six. Ananobi finds Randall. Back to Ananobi. Stolen by Brooks. 
First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Last year, 90%. And uh, he was right there among the best in the league with that percentage. Yeah, that's a great asset to have, guys, uh, for any team. Coming down the stretch in close games, you've got a guy who's confident and very good at the line. When he steps up there, you feel good about it. A three for DiVincenzo. Sinks the triple. DiVincenzo's got ten. Sweet shooting from DiVincenzo. Really comfortable getting that shot up quickly. Brooks for three. And ball. Great assist by Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got his third assist on the night. Runs in the pass to Randall. Kicks to Robinson. Now here's DiVincenzo. Covered by Van Vliet. Passes to Randall. Pocket six. A shake. Brunson goes in. And he lays it up and in. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. And it's Thompson with the jam. Tenacious on the attack. Thompson is fantastic at finding lanes to the basket. A power flush with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. that could be, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. We've seen those kinds of plays get them going in the past. And stolen by DiVincenzo. And here we go. The fast break. Brunson's got it. Boy, they've been terrific from beyond here in the second. Exactly what the doctor ordered. Those three-point bombs will erase the deficit quickly if they can keep it up. New York's gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. And Randall throws it down. Boy, what a throwdown by the well-built 6'9 Julius Randall with power. Eason, a screen on DiVincenzo. Back to Van Vliet. Fires the three. Robinson pulls it in. Robinson's got four rebounds now tonight. Back to Ananobi. And Ananobi slams it in. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. Rocketing off the deck. Thompson showing that youthful exuberance. Here's Randall. And Randall throws it down. This team really feeds off of one another in terms of their energy. Perhaps the case simply that some kind of motivational speeches at halftime got both of these teams fired up. And so it's Brunson with it. He brings it up for New York. Robinson. And Robinson throws it down. A fantastic decision making big. Randall with the right choice there. Finally the open man. Man, he sure can get off the floor. He's one of the best in the business, absolutely. Boy, he makes it look easy. He is an absolutely imposing finisher around the rim. Brunson kicks to Ananobi. And Brunson, the basket on the assist by Ananobi. Making the defense look hopeless. Brunson so clever with his ball handling. There's 57 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. And to get open is Robinson. On an OB. Good. And now a four-point New York lead. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Knicks. Really a great job in this one, forcing the issue defensively. Great quickness and discipline combined, making ball handlers very uncomfortable. And they've also not only created turnovers tonight, but converted on them. All game long, that strategy has been paying off. Pass to Easton. Here's Shangoon. And it's Houston with another. Shangoon, a force in the lane. That's where he does most of his damage. The Knicks shooting the ball really well in this game, 58%. Brooks against Ananobi. The pass to Brunson. On the arc, drills the three-pointer. Brunson's got 10 points here in the second half. No three-pointers for him in that first half, but the second half, different story. Brooks, that's a two-pointer, and it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. A three for DiVincenzo. Jalen Brunson has been on display for New York. Setting up teammate. 
And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Yeah, platinum level dime drop in there, fellas. Accurate and on time. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. And New York looking at who they've got. We've got Alec Burks. Achua is out there with Hartenstein. Then there's Boyan Bogdanovich. And it's McBride in at the point guard position. Really in a good position thanks to the accuracy from beyond. Yeah, you got that right. I mean, you got it real right. They are lighting it up from beyond the arc. This is and there's the call on Precious Achua. That'll be his second foul of the game. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Yeah, he was one step late that time. So the Rockets end up going with a whole new group. Burks with the steal. And now it's Burks running. He can go all the way. Oh, he just punches that one down with a fury. And he rubs it in a little deeper with the hanging finish. Guys, they're not backing off at all, are they? Thompson finds Shangoon. Brooks with him. And Burks picks him up defensively. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Up top, Eason. Out to Thompson. Here's Eason. Covered by a Jewel. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two hand jam. I tell you what, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will really start shrinking. Pass to Hartenstein. Here's McBride to the paint. Passes it to Burks. Shot clock at six. Offline with his three. You know, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. It sure would make things a lot easier, too. And here's Bogdanovich for three. Hits it from three-point range. Bogdanovich has got the lead up to nine now for the Knicks. Van Vliet outside. Pass to Shengu. Thompson outside. And it's Thompson with the jam. And he's got rocket ship like takeoff. Thompson can flat out fly. Pat Donovich wide open. And the Knicks good for two. Yeah, he, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. You know, numbers don't always tell the story, guys, but his assist totals do paint the picture here. I mean, he's got everybody involved. Near the three point line, it's Van Vliet. And it's Houston with another. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Stolen by Van Vliet. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. And foul call. Looks like they had a clear path to the basket. He'll be shooting two free throws. And they'll retain possession. That free throw good from Thompson. Thompson is one of the best pure athletes to come into the league in quite some time. He's fast. And boy, can he fly. Nice work there. This is a point in the game where if you get a chance to close the gap, you've got to make the most of it. Smith checked in for the Rockets. Green comes in for Thompson. Brooks misses. And that shot isn't the one they should be taking if they want to make this comeback happen. DiVincenzo finds Robinson. Two minutes remaining in the game. Over to the left wing. On deep, Brunson. That's in. Coming off an assist from Randall. Randall's got three assists tonight. And Brunson more than comfortable shooting the three. And boy, is he efficient when he lets it fly. And the wide open shot from Green. Kicks it out to Van Vliet. Sinks the three pointer. And how about the leadership there from Van Vliet? Ready to put this team on his back and give them that crucial bucket. And Randall throws it down. And it slams it home and gets some camera time on the end of it. He did. He spent a while up in that rim, didn't he? The refs are much more lenient with that kind of situation than they used to be. And here's Green outside. It's rebounded by New York. Robinson's got rebound number seven for him tonight. 
New York leading by seven. Now here's DiVincenzo. 109 left to play here in the fourth. Ananobi passes to Randall. DiVincenzo kicks to Brunson. Back to DiVincenzo. Let's it fly. Well, it's Green's effort that makes him effective as a defender in addition to his athleticism, but usually he just simply outworks folks. Or the defense refusing to give up anything easy. Love seeing that kind of intensity. A three for DiVincenzo. They get it again. Let's the three fly. He scores his fifth field goal. He's taken nine shots to get those five. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yep, to have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exit. It's good. Great dime that time by Smith Jr. there. You see the floor awareness really starting to improve. The clock now can just run out for the Knicks. Green against Brunson. 